Uh, hello everyone, welcome to today's SMZ3 Randomizer Tournament match. Uh, we've got a good one for you today. Uh, it's F. Coughlin versus a Total. Uh, this is the, the second match in this group. Uh, the first match was actually me versus Bionicle Genius, uh, so I ended up winning that. Uh, so the winner of this will be facing me, and the loser will be facing Bionicle Genius. Uh, I am Apathy Duck, aka Duck McGuck, and I'm joined today by Big Bokt. How's it going? Doing great, thank you. Looking forward to some great action from on the left of Coughlin, who develops, who is one of the developers on the Zelda One, randomizer, and on the right, Total, who is w w the primary dev on this randomizer. Yeah, we wouldn't be here today without Total. He's put a just a massive amount of effort into this uh, this randomizer. Just Getting it to work is half a miracle, half he's a, some sort of mad, crazy genius. So, uh, going to be a good one. Uh, this is also kind of interesting. Like, uh, Coughlin, more, like you said, more known probably for Rizalda 1. He does does play a lot. Uh, he has played the uh, just the normal Olink of the Past randomizer a bit. I haven't really seen him play any SM. Uh, Total, meanwhile, is uh, more of a, a SM main type of player. Uh, I haven't seen him play a Link to the Past uh, much. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see like how these two guys approach the games. Uh, like com combining the randomizer is interesting. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people have seen the just a link to the past randomizer. There is a lot of routing and everything. Uh, like the execution definitely matters in there, but it's it's hard for like even top players to really put up a lot of time uh, against even like a mid tier player over there. But in the on the SM side, like the barrier to entry is a lot higher just to get even competent. Uh, so like a really good SM player, uh, you know, like your your QDs, your your Sloters, your Asders, your Aussies, they can just put up massive amount of times just from executing, and the routing's a lot more straightforward, especially in the combo part of it. So uh, because of that, I kind of want to say I think Total may have the advantage here. It's just I, I expect him to do uh, be better in the SM side of it. Uh, so probably put up a, a good chunk of time, uh, familiar with all the tricks and everything over there. Uh, but we'll see. You know, it's definitely gonna be a good one. Alrighty, looks like we are underway. I wish both these players good luck not running into the door and looking like an idiot. Of Coffin doing what what we call arm pumping. See what where that works is when you when you tap L or R to aim or fire your gun while you're in standard running animation, you're shifted forward a pixel. You're not actually moving faster, but it comes to the same thing. Yeah, total looking like an idiot running to that door. That's that's never you never want to see that. All right, F. Coughlin going to reset immediately, not going to bother checking the Lake Hylia item. Yeah, that's... It's interesting. That's, like, such a free check. Uh, when you go back to the Vanilla Link to the Past Randomizer, you kind of forget about this item. Uh, so that just might be Coughlin not having a lot of experience in the, the combo randomizer. Because uh, you pretty much see... It and it's a plus five arrow capacity. Red Rupee yeah. in Link's house, and I think I saw super missiles in the Sanctuary chest. Yeah, probably. Um... Yeah, so it's just, it's a free check here. Yeah, you've pretty much seen everyone check that. So, probably just a little unfamiliarity with the uh, the combo. It looks like Total is going to check out Uncle House and Coughlin. Yeah, it's going to be starting here with a hula hand. Uh, so, this is going to get us about 225 rupees, I believe. Uh, you're kind of playing this for perhaps the Zora play. I'm not a fan of starting with it. Um, you never know if Zora is going to be in logic act early. Uh, or anything like that. Uh, the only thing this really prevents is if you find the flippers without the gloves, you can't do the hula hand anymore. Uh, so it's it's it, some people prefer doing this. I'm just never a big fan of it. It takes a good a bit of time to do. And so Uncle gives up his wallet for 300 rupees, and the chest in the mode is power bombs. Alrighty, looks like. All right, Total doesn't have any doesn't have a weapon at this point, so he can't head into the castle dungeon. Looks like F. Coffin is trying to farm for bombs. Oh, yeah, he got two, one. There's <laughs> two 50-50 bombs in those bushes. He got one in a way you don't don't expect. Uh, so if you, again, if you're familiar with the V31 link to the past randomizer, the price packs are now vanilla, just shuffled. Uh, this the SMZ3 is built off the old V29 logic. Uh, that's why we saw arrow capacity upgrades, uh, and the the prize packs are going to be completely random. So Coughlin just getting completely lucky there, being able to snag a bomb. Uh, it's going to be useful for we need three bombs of Kakariko to clear it out. Uh, so it's going to be able to let him check a few more things. He's also got money to buy ten bombs, which I kind of just expect him just to go ahead and do, even with that one lucky drop. 
Now, version 11 of the of the of the combo randomizer removed the tank the plus 10 capacity of both bombs and arrows, and two each of the plus five bomb capacities, replacing them with a ten, place as well as the 10 bomb pickup, replacing those with three with three 10 arrow packs and four three bomb packs. All right, lumberjack ledge is just plus five bomb capacity, so we're not going to see the ag we're not going to see ag one unless we need that for dark world access. That's another cool thing about the combo is there's a lot more ways of breaking aga. You can get dark world access through Meridia, um, or yeah, through Meridia. So if it is an aga required to see, we may see uh, total, especially because uh, it's familiar with SM. Maybe try to do a couple, maybe do some like hell runs or something, trying to get gravity to go through Meridia instead of having to, to beat aga. So uh, if it is an aga required to see, logically, uh, it's pretty interesting to see what players will, will do in this to, to try to go ahead and break that. Ooh, various suit on the on the peddler. That's a oh, that's a nice mind. early item. So that that will that that super mature item protects you from heat damage. So the hell ones you mentioned will not be needed. Yeah, it's not gonna be a thing. <laughs> Have magic in the back of the well. That's a nice pickup. Well, pretty stacked. Got the bow out of there, too. Right, so we got both runners in CAC now. Red Rupee in the back of the tavern. F. Coffin's on to Blind's Basement. Speed booster. Yeah, speed booster is, is a nice find early. Uh, you kind of regret finding it before morph a lot of times because it does open up the uh, Brinstar checks that uh, may force you to do kind of like a double dip. So I don't expect them to chase it hard just quite yet. A lot of times you find speed and you can still find morph in Light World, but. Uh, we may have progression required in uh, Brinstar with that speed booster. Uh, the speed booster will get us from from the crit from the ship from the landing site criteria as far as Big Pink and Brinstar. All right, it looks like total total enough coffin just kind of swapping checks with each other at this point. Now, while we've got a little bit of downtime, let's go over some of the logic changes from the verse for version 11. Reading from the list on the Randomizer website, quote, Reserve tanks are not added as progression items for logic. I mentioned the capacity upgrades. All bottles are empty when found. Waterfall and Pyramid Fairies only give green potions. Really, a mother brain, it, it's possible for them to lo no longer require the charge beam, which means that can now be found in Ganon's tower. You might you might ha be able to kill them with just ammo. There's a few changes for hard logic that that we're not. I, I won't go over because those are irrelevant. Mama Turtle in Meridia was fixed so that to, to require the ability to open red doors, and there was some key logic fixed in Ice Palace so that you can't lock yourself out of the right side. Yeah, it's not a not a lot of changes really. The uh, ammo required, uh, ammo being required for uh, Ridley instead of Charge Beam is the big one. Although most people players who play this uh, are pretty comfortable doing that anyways, so uh, it's not really going to affect how the players approach the uh, V11 versus V10 all that much. Uh, the other big thing here is you can see Coffin picking up a bottle without uh, anything in it. That's always going to happen now, uh, especially for like a the more skilled a link to the past players, a lot of times you don't see them going out of their way for safeties. But if, like before, if you just had a bottle that happened to have a blue potion or a fairy in it, like it could save you. Uh, so that has actually does have some strategic changes uh, over the course of, of the game because you can no longer rely on just like, oh, I found a bottle. Uh, you know, this will this will save me. Uh, it's just never going to have anything. So you have to go out of your way to fill it up. Higher light in chat. Mother Brain takes 60 super missiles or 30. 180 regular missiles or any combination thereof. Regular missiles do 100, super missiles do 300. 
Uh, and she has really, her second phase has eighteen thousand health. Really takes double damage for supers, so it's thirty supers. Thank you. Yeah, sixty Alrighty. would be uh, <laughs> all of them, <laughs> so that'd be real bad. <laughs> Ooh, mini Moldorm Cave, an absolute bust today. Rocket KC, good point. Yeah, you have to account for Mother Brain 1 as well. Alrighty, F. Coughlin looks like he's heading for the Ice Rod Cave. Turtle's getting his bottle. Did Elf Coughlin head back to CAC to check Sickhead? Uh, I don't think so yet. Probably don't really go out of your way for that one. Uh, pick it up like usually with a, a Dark World check when you're coming back later. Unless the seed really dries up. The, Coughlin's probably not heading back there until he's kind of forced to. Bionicle Genius, not quite. You, you have to defeat Mother Brick. You can break the glass tube and then recharge, but then you still need to do 3,000 damage with ammo to Mother Brain 1. We also have speed already, so uh, Zeb Skip is now doable. Uh, assuming, I mean, Total definitely can do the speed Zeb Skip. Not entirely sure about F. Coughlin. Uh, F. Coughlin is, I mean, he's a very good player of, of multiple games. Again, I just don't know his. Uh, comfort level in SM. So we'll see that a little bit uh, soon here when when we get there. Of course, easily does fake flipper, which was which happens by hitting the water and transitioning to a different screen at the same time. That is a that is a logic break for Link to the Past. The, uh, there's nothing stopping them from doing it, but the logic doesn't expect that. Yeah, actually, the cool thing about fake flippers is uh, if you guys are familiar with the Insula glitches that were found recently, uh, it turns out the the reason fake flippers works is that screen tradition actually deletes the splash. It, the splash never comes up. Um, so it was always an Insula delete. We just didn't know about it. Uh, so now we have more ways of doing it. Uh, actually, both of them, you know, with the bow and the, the bombs is a way of doing it. So it is possible to actually get the uh, I, uh, item on Zor's ledge right now if, if they're aware of that, that glitch. It's a little tricky to do. Um, again, uh, neither of these guys are really a Link to the Past mains. Coffin more more of a the Zelda one, but he does he has played a Link to the Past randomizer before. But I don't know if he's up on the the newest stuff yet. JRP in chat, yes, totally still the manager, primary manager of the SMZ three right now. Alrighty, F. Okay, I saw Crystal 7 at Tower of Hera, but that was all I saw. I think Eastern is a red crystal. Uh, that was a really quick map check by Total. That's a that's just, uh, some price of ability right there. Alrighty, Total's on his way to East, Eastern Palace area. He's, he'll have three items at the Hopsterless Closet, and he can ask where the green pendant is if he likes. And no progression uh, to Hashala. Wah wah. Alright, looks like F. Coffin is heading for the castle dungeon. Not sure what Total's doing. He's not going quite the right way to get to. Yes. Oh, yes, he is going the right way to get to Eastern. No. Oh, Eastern is out. The, the back of Eastern is out of logic without, without the lamp. But there's. But. Doing those rooms dark is one of the one of the easier sets of dark rooms to do, so Toto will probably be able to manage that. And PTG Mock and Chat confirming Red Crystal in Eastern and Red Pen in the Desert. Thank you. And Pyrelight confirming for us that Fred just found the hookshot in the dungeon. I, I missed that. Oh yeah, that's, that's going to be a big find. Uh, it doesn't put anything in right now. Uh, mostly will be Paradox Cave. Uh, one of the, the logic changes... 
Uh, so you have the two games that are largely separated. Uh, you can actually use the portals for logic. So for instance, uh, normally it would just be the glove and the lamp uh, logic way to get Death Mountain, or you could be the flute. Uh, in this, it's actually also Morph Ball and Super Missiles. Uh, will get you there because you can go from the ship down to uh, Crade and then uh, the biz uh, business center. I just want to call it business parlor because I'm dumb. Uh, and you can actually get to Death Mountain that way. That is actually in logic. And uh, one of the big things is you uh, really, really always want to get the old man save when you're up there because you don't want to have to go through that section again. Uh, so knowing how to do the old man in the dark is very important uh, in this randomizer. One of the other cross game logic catches is that that one of the cross game portals, the one near the Gold Terezo in Lower Norfair, leads to the Misery Mire area. So you can access Mire without both gloves. Alrighty, looks like F. Coughlin is now on his way toward the Eastern Palace area. Total finds the big key just in time to hit the big chest, I believe. All right, super missiles in the chest. How many prizes have we seen in Eastern so far? I've only seen that one. I'm not entirely sure. It's always hard to keep track of uh, dungeon items when you're when you're watching two screens here. Uh, maybe... So, I'm not sure if, uh, Total found, uh, three items ready. He might just be going straight to the boss. Uh, he also might just... This is uh, a pretty good gamble to make, too. Going around to the big key. Uh, can take a little bit, although I'd be a little surprised if he did that pre-morph. Although it is that Total a lot takes a death. And he's just gonna bow out for the time being. Depending on how deep F. Coughlin goes, we might we might see whether or not that was a good call on Total Spark. Yeah, that dark room is, is pretty tricky to do, uh, especially without a sword or in, really any other guide. Uh, even if you can get the key, uh, all the popos and the other. Uh, Igor in there can just make your life a little bit of a nightmare. So, doing on four hearts, uh, definitely brave from total. Unfortunately, not able to to, to get it. Uh, but like I said, it's a very difficult one. And with total being more of an SM player, not not entirely surprising that he struggled a little bit with that. It takes a lot of practice to get good at. All right, total checks the desert ledge. It's just a missile pack. Looks like he's heading to Agina's cave now. So at this point, I really think Total probably should start... Well, we might check the shovel, at least, but probably going to start chasing that speed booster. Uh, the other thing speed booster puts in Logic is some... Uh, well, I guess... Uh, does it actually put Bubble Mountain in Logic? I know he can get there. He can get there and he can clear out uh, some of Bubble Mountain uh, with the speed booster and Varia. Um, I, I forget if that's actually completely logical. Oh, wait, no, he can't. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, the, without... The Without the more ball delay power bombs, you don't have access to any of the items in Bubble Mountain. Yeah. So, well, he, what he can do is he can break logic to Croc. That that's the one that that's what I was actually thinking of. Uh, but he would have to do a green gate or would be a, a blue gate glitch, glitch because it's only a blue there. Oh, oh he gets the gloves. Double paying off with the power glove. It, th that gives us logical access to King Zora, right? Uh, yeah, it does. Probably, yeah, and he's kind of in the neighborhood now, so probably going to be cashing in his bottle. This is still a pretty slow check, but we're kind of running out of places that uh, either... I mean, probably Morph Ball at this point is our next access. Really, the, moly, the opening of the game. the Moon Pearl and the Vanilla Big Key chest in Eastern. Total's uh -huh. really going to regret noping out on that now. 
Yeah, so I actually am surprised that he didn't go over there then, since I guess he was trying to make that gamble. Uh, so Lamp's probably going to be showing up here shortly, and Sikis gives us another bottle. Oh, right. that's funny. <laughs> yeah, the yeah the the Moon Pearl is behind another behind an easier set of dark rooms than what Total died on. So that's what I was saying earlier. Cawthon also making good use of the hookshot to uh, clear out some of those popos that I said can give you some trouble, so... Looks like he's gonna be able to make it through. Yep. Gets that. Uh, hear the key opening, the door opening. Pretty much a good sign that you, you made it through. Alright, all right, totally using that power glove to check the, check the castle, the back section of the castle escape. Check the back section of the castle escape. No percussion, but at least a heartbeat, is that something? Yeah, so Coughlin definitely getting a little bit of an early lead here. Uh, again, though, this is uh, really Coughlin's strength in the length of the past right now. Uh, Total was probably going to be able to do a little bit better in SM, so uh, just because of the game is switching back and forth, you can have a lot more like lead changes in, in these things as, as players go from their strong to weak suits uh, if they're not evenly skilled in both games. At the average completion time for the SMZ3 is bot bottom level two and a half hours, top level about maybe four. And But the number of times I've seen racers finish within minutes or even seconds of each other is just ridiculous. Coffin, I'm a little trouble with the quick kill, but it manages to get Armos down. Uh, fortunately, I had enough arrows to, to finish that off. Meanwhile, Total getting his hook shot. Uh, still looking like that Moon Pearl is out of logic and really doesn't give us anything right now. We've sort of more sequence breaks to do like Waterfall Fairy or something like that. Um, so, probably still thinking. Speaking of logic, I, yeah, I think we've seen both the, the small key and the map for the pe for the castle, so I think, pretty sure that means there's something in Dark Cross. Uh, yeah, probably. Again, it's hard to, it's hard for me to, to, to count necessarily, so we'll see if they end up making that play. Yeah, there is no compass in the castle, right? No, just a map and, map and a key are the two junk items. I mean, the key's not really a junk item, sometimes you need it, but they're the two non, uh, items that you can get. All right, F. Coughlin looks heading to looks like he's heading toward Ice Rod Cave again. Not sure what he's got in mind. Raziel Zora play. Okay. Oh, and he has the Moon Pearl too, so he can set up the Water Walk glitch to check the Waterfall of Wishing. Yeah, as mentioned before, he can actually get the ledge item with the bow and bombs if he is aware of how to do that glitch. Although, a lot of times, uh, shooting a lot of arrows in the Armos fight actually messes with Incel a little bit, so he may be in a state where he can't actually do it. And while Total finally making the, the SM play, I feel, I feel like it's fairly likely we're going to find Morph Ball or maybe like some small progression uh, to get the Morph Ball over here. Uh, no progression in the in the waterfall of wishing. We'll see what what the Zora ledge item is in about in about five seconds here. It's the flute. Ooh, uh, that's actually really big. So we'll, we'll see if Coffin tries to do this this uh, Ancilla setup here. Logical access to the ledge item is just flippers, right? Access to yeah. this area plus flippers, right? Yeah, well, it's just flippers. Flippers will get to you no matter what, because you can always get to the portal. And Zora is an arms dealer today for not a whole lot. So he's swimming back here. It's... Yeah, so <laughs> picking up the item put him into the water. Uh, the fact that he's walking around here makes me... Th yeah, is an indication he is going to be going for this. Uh, like I said, the Armos fight does screw this up, so... I don't know if he's going to be able to get this. Uh, one of the ways you can fix it is by hard resetting, but you don't want to do that in this because you would go back to SM. Yeah, so he's going to put three arrows into the wall, two bombs, jump down. Oh, he does get it. Which is very oh, the, nice. Yeah. Ooh, not quite. No, he, yeah, yeah. So the Ancilla on he had the arrows. It for a second, it looked like. Yeah, the, the problem is those arrows disappear. You got to make the second hop before getting down there. No, unfortunately, doesn't get it. 
Uh, this does mean his Encilla is set up correctly. He's just not... That ledge is really weird. You actually don't want to pump off of it as soon as you come into the water. Uh, that determines how fast you're going to jump down. There, he gets it. Very nicely done. Hey, Plus, hey, hey, be... we've got literacy at early supers. Yeah, so this is going to be a really big payoff for Coughlin. Uh, Total might not be... Depending on where the flippers are, if Total doesn't know how to do that trick, uh, it could be a long time before he gets it. Although, and, like, Total does like all the weird stuff, so I would not be surprised if he he has go ahead and, and learn that. He does a lot of the weird SM categories as well, some of the PAL stuff. So, uh, he, he may. I, I'm, like I said, I'm not really entirely sure with Total's uh, Link to the Past knowledge in general. All right, real quick, that Flash Elite was meant to be just a sprite overload, right? So, he, the the item sat there, prevented, overloaded the sprite system so that the Splash Sprite couldn't spawn? Yeah, that's like the... the TLDR of it. It's a good basic yeah, explanation. I Just... Yeah, I haven't seen that before, so. Alright, Big Pink not paying off for total, so we'll see what he's got in mind next. Yeah, a little surprise. I mean, we haven't seen Retro yet either, though, so it could have been this Speed Booster is a red herring, uh, and the answer was SM all along, but the, the stuff you could have gotten right away. Although the Speed Booster does put the Retro E-Tank in logic. Uh, you can get that with a D-Boost. Uh, most players are fairly comfortable of doing that. Uh, yeah, but the D-Boost is, does... is, expect... is only expected on the hard logic, though. Yeah, yeah but... Uh, which is why some players don't like coming down here because it's not in logic, but you, generally anyone who goes down to retro will be able to pick up two items. Right. Alright, F. Coughlin flew out of here. He's heading for Death Mountain. Doesn't surprise me at all. I've got one doing dark rooms to rescue Gary the old man. Total not going to check for a troll brand, instead just head back into Link to the Past. Yeah, I'm not sure what's even left in A Link to the Past at this point. Uh, I mean, Coughlin is coming up here. This is out of logic. We don't have Morph to get here through SM. We don't have a Lamp to get up here. Um, Red Cane, very nice. Oh, wait, we have... he. Oh, the Flute's out of... Yeah, the Flute's out of logic. So, like, everything we can do to get up here logically uh, is behind some other logic that we don't have. So, this and, this is out of logic. So, and Marathon 18 pointing out that... To the book was in logic, so we have access to desert. Yeah, that, that is a good point. So, desert feels like the more likely answer. Uh, Coughlin's still putting off those speed chat. Like, you don't like doing them, but at some point, the, the seed starts screaming it. Uh, and I think that's the seed's definitely screaming it at this point. So, uh, like I said, I, I kind of expect it morph to either be in uh, the speed lock locations or lock behind it. So, like, the book would be a good thing that just puts a couple more checks in. Uh, so, this definitely could be the book over here. Nareth, yes, there. book was at early supers. <laughs> All righty, I would. I would bet F. Coffin's going to dip into... No, he's not. He's going to take that hook shot and head over to East Death Mountain. Yeah, so if something is over here, uh, that tells me... Like, Morph could be over here, but that means either Flippers for the Flute or Lamp is going to be in Desert to put this in Logic. There's the desert big key. I think I I don't I did not see what was on the torch if it was checked. Well, there's space jump. That's our that's our can fly.
Yeah, with speed booster ready, that space jump's really not going to help out someone like Total too much. At least for checks wise, it's nice to have. Um, oh, boots for Coughlin. That's a really good find. But yeah, really, the speed uh, space jump only puts one additional item in logic that's hard locked by it the, uh, the missiles above Golden Chorizo. I refer to those as being behind the Picky Chozo, but I think the actual speedrunner name for it is Showcase Showdown. I think... Yeah. Desert, an absolute bust for total. I don't, you didn't see anything there, so I think I think there's one prize on the, on the ledge. Not the ledge. One prize on the torch and the other one on Lambo less. Yeah, I'm not sure where this progression could be. I mean, I guess it's it's got to be retro at this point. Like, this is the only thing we haven't seen. Uh, the stuff Coughlin is doing is still out of logic. Uh, at least getting his... He got his cane and his boots out there, so he's not upset about doing this. Uh, it certainly got his payoff, but uh, that morph ball's got to be showing up soon. Total setting up another Ahulahan glitch. Now that the Hulang Hulahan functions but by desyncing yourself from the screen so that when you ent enter a transition the game doesn't know where to send you so and the Hulahan room is the default location. Yeah, it's not necessarily a desync, it's just uh, the transitions are based upon camera position, so you just manipulate the camera to put it into a, a spot. Uh, that the game doesn't know where to put you, so it just uh, kind of goes into the the, the old-school error exception uh, handling room. Yeah, there's the... Yeah, let it fish, you're right. There's nothing left but blue brand. Uh, to... For the logic chain, I should say. Yeah, so we'll see if Toll knows how to do the Ancilla glitches uh, real soon, uh, because he's not going to want to leave that flute. Uh, if he knows how to do them, he's definitely going to try it. Uh, got some decent ammo to do it, to try it a couple times. 16 arrows, 9 bombs. Looks like Total's trying to set up Big Flipper to head to the... He... I don't think Total checked the Hobo, so he'll probably do that first. Coughlin has also not done the, the speed booster checks uh, e at all. Um, yeah, I got a little surprising Coughlin... putting yeah, it I off this far. I don't think that's Coughlin has been in Super Metroid at all. But yeah, he'll get his he'll get his shovel here, and he'll chase that to his glove. <laughs> There's a bomb and a Gina. Not very happy with, with the old man Agina for whatever reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just that's just rude. Homicidal rage today, it looks like. <laughs> Bombs are so important in this. Just for him to throw two at Agina just for a hot meme is uh oh, that's a good one. Total not... Oh, that's right. Total doesn't have the Moon Pearl, so he can't set up the Water Walk. Yes, correct. Alright, so we'll see how happy he is about that flute being up there uh, real soon here. He, yeah, he has... Yeah, if he knows the Splash Delete glitch, he has enough arrows to... Arrows and bombs to try it at least a few times. Uh, Coughlin finally making his SM dip. Uh, at this point, uh, uh, just, Coughlin almost certainly will do the uh, Brinstar speed checks first, uh, but we'll probably see him come back for for retro because there's really just nothing left for him at this point. Or even sequence break stuff as as it is. All right, let's see total now. So all right, total. Yeah, you can see total. I, I think total has like heard how to do it, but doesn't quite know. The problem is he's too far away. Uh, from the wall. Uh, he needs to get up a little bit higher so he can fire those arrows a little bit more rapid fire. Um, 
So this is this is someone who has heard how to do this, but oh, actually, he does get it. That is, anyway, I just the thing is, I don't think he's at this point. He's going to be those Ancilla will persist long enough to get that second hop. Yes, yeah, so the morph portal at retro. Uh, Zolski, the Moon Pearl is actually behind the lamp, too, so that won't actually give us logical Dark World. So, Dr. Blue, gonna be something else. Wedge is the flute. Alright, so the... Uh, looks like Total is gonna reach Retro Brain before F. Coffin does, because that's the only thing Total has left. So we know this has to be it. So what are you what are you hoping for here, Apathy Duck? Uh, just let it be morph, so we don't have to do a bunch of dumb stuff. I like seeing see it's go a long time without morph because it, it makes you improvise a lot. That's that's one of the things I like to see. <laughs> oh, Coughlin learning about the uh, well, it's the lamp. So that's going to put the moon pearl in logic. That's puts Death Mountain in logic. That puts Norfair in logic. Uh, so, got yeah, you, a little bit of the vision going on right now. Alrighty, so we'll see if we'll see if the the retro brain E tank is also progression. Nope, just three moms. Total's gonna grab them and head back out. So we'll see if Total decides to go straight back to Eastern with this. Uh, does is gonna need that moon pearl at some point sooner than later, obviously, or if he decides to. Uh, take this as a logical access to Death Mountain and to uh, Norfair. I kind of expect him to head up to to Death Mountain because he's he does have the hook shot, can do all Paradox Cave, then then he can come back and, and do uh, the Norfair checks. Letifus also pointing out that with, with the lamp, Dark Cross is also in logic, and there is a, and it is confirmed to have an item. Ooh, second Decora visit today. I've got I'm going to recharge at the at the station here just in case, but I agree with that. I'm not. I don't recall exactly how much energy the ascent takes. Uh, it's a good bit. He's going to use most of his energy here. Yeah. Yeah. He needs yeah, at he least one e tank to get up there. Or well, there is ways yeah. of doing it, but it requires some pretty tricky wall jumps. Uh, it's not exactly easy. Yeah. If he had not recharged, he would not have had it. enough. Oh gosh. What is he? Oh, is he trying to get back across? Yeah, he's trying to get back across. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, this is going to be pretty tricky. Uh, generally, the best thing to do is just get a uh, shine and just shine across. Although, he's... Oh, okay. He just he just kind of times it out nicely. There we go. Oh, it looks like Kotal's gonna take the take the vanilla game route to Death Mountain here. Hate to say it, but I don't think F. Coughlin's sequence breaking is really going going to pay off today. Okay, now that we have the King of Samaria in logic, does it open anything at this point? No, so King of Samaria is just Mire and Total Rock. Oh, Total taking another death. 
Oof. Alrighty, Up Coffin is back into Link to the Past. Where's he heading? Oh, right, he got his book, so he's heading for Desert. And he has the Pegasus boots, so at the very least, he can get the Torch item. Top of Spectacle Rock is a heart piece. I don't think we saw that when that Coffin was checking. I don't think we actually saw the torch item when Total was over here, so what is it? The other glove upgrade! Oh, baby! Yeah, that's pretty bad for Total missing that. If he didn't even scout it, that's... that's he must have scouted it, we just must have missed it. Alright, so Mitz plus Pearl, that is full Dark World access, is it not? Yeah, full Dark World access, so uh, we'll see. If, since Total doesn't know that, he may actually do these Upper North Air checks uh, still. Um, yeah, uh, Solstice pointed out, if Morph is up there, that's going to be a pretty hard bailout, but right now it's looking like the Seed probably wants us to go to uh, Dark World. You can have Seeds where you both have Dark World access and Morph early, uh, which can be interesting, especially in a race, because it can really diverge the two, router, the two runners. Um, but usually one is behind the other, uh, so Morph is probably going to be Dark World at this point, but we'll see what Upper Norfair has to offer us. Looks like Jeff Coffin is taking that, taking those mints, he's going to check Dark Death Mountain. Blue Pendant at, uh, Blue Pendant at Skullwoods, Red, Green Pendant at Thieves Town, Red Crystal at Meyer. Yeah, if Upper Norfair turns out to be a complete blank, uh, not scouting that torch is really going to come back to haunt total. F. Coughlin in, I believe this is Super Bunny. Yeah, uh, total going through Frog Speedway. I wonder if he's forgetting you need Morph to get up to the Upper North or if she's going to Croc. Looks like you might have just wanted that check, which is our second shield. So the actual uh, in Bubble Mountain is our second shield. Either he wanted that check or he was trying to push it down right there. <laughs> That's why he wasn't moving. As someone who has done that, that is a... Oh, that is bad. Okay, so, yeah, Coughlin ha, ha, is going to have a pretty big advantage. There's our Morphine Hookshot Cave! So this is probably going to be pretty much a red herring. Uh, the one thing that Total does have going for him is it's likely, especially with very early, it's likely that... Uh, Coffin will do all these checks at some point, uh, so it's not going to be too bad of a time loss from Total, but Total is really going to need to get back on the logical progression train here as soon as possible. Yeah, F. Coffin checked Turtle Rock, it's Ether, and Turtle Rock is a crystal, so we will guaranteed need that Ether somewhere. F. Coffin they need up to Criteria Power Bombs, West Total has entered Bubble Mountain. 
He can check this item, but can't get to the two at the Rexia Preserve. No, Norfair Reserve, but Wave Beam, that's logical access to Croc. Yeah, it's just going to put him further off the train. The one nice thing is it is a damage upgrade. Will speed up Total and Super Metroid overall. Uh, pretty much what Total wants over here are items that are going to speed him up. So he wants high jump, he wants a sword, uh, things like that. I mean, even Hammer or something like that could be over here. Uh, some big find like that it will make sure the hole that Total is digging himself is not too bad overall. Yeah, high jump is the best item in Super Metroid that you don't really think about. You don't you don't realize how much of it how much it helps until you play the game without it. Oh, you think about it. <laughs> you think about it. I promise you. Meantime, Total will have to deal with the rising lava because he exited that room well in possession of the speed booster. F. Coughlin I'm heading to the wrecked ship area, checking the item at the bottom of the ocean. It is an energy tank. That, those, no, those are always a nice pickup. Meantime, Total is heading for the wave beam room. HK-112, it was in Hookshot Cave. Alright, so... We Beam Chozo had a... Had a red rupee. Didn't see what the pedestal, pre-wave pedestal was. Yeah, Coughlin scouting out the, uh... The missiles, the missile location uh, up there in uh, West Ocean. Usually, with the sign, you may be thinking of doing a, a top of wreck ship skip. Uh, if that item has nothing, and maybe you find some other progression here, you may skip the attic and and gravity suit uh, and all those locations. So we'll see if he actually follows through with that or not. Uh, if you're not really Metroid. thinking about doing that at all, the scout doesn't really make any sense, to be honest, because you're going to get it soon, anyways. Right, Super Metroid Harmless Hellway is 20 rupees, and the uh, Super Metroid Cathedral is 3 bobs. Off point heading into his first SM boss fight, Fantoon. Fantoon is always a fun one. Uh, pretty much. Uh, Coughlin's only option here is doing uh, the Doppler strategies, so we'll see. Uh, you can get a three round uh, without too much effort on, on Fantoon with some decent Dopplers. Uh, so we'll see if he's able to, to pull that off. Oh, that's not what you want. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Well, uh, uh no. Nope, Coughlin you... has hit. Yeah, Super Missiles actually do double damage to Fantoon, but if, the, but if one hits him and doesn't kill him, this happens. So, I don't know if Coughlin was sitting around reading the Nintendo Power Strategy Guide for this game or what, but yeah, it's generally not what you want to do on, on Fantoon. <laughs> Meantime, Total's over, over. Total's about to face Crocomire, who does not take cameras the way most bosses do. A missile backs him up one step, a super missile backs him up three steps, and the charge beam will back him up various amounts depending on what your beam combination is. You back him up enough, and he falls into the lava. Yeah, uh, Coughlin not even going for the Dopplers here. Uh, just just trying to stay in this corner and getting some missiles into Fantoon. Uh, as I said, Coughlin more more of a familiar with the a Link to the Bass side. Uh, so Total is definitely going to have the advantage in, in SM here uh, overall. Uh, so Total is definitely not out of this. Like I said, the SM side is pretty execution heavy. All right, Crocomire paying out with Bombos. I thought we were going for a spike suit there. I don't recall exactly how that how that glitch works, but if if, if it succeeds, it will give him a shine a stored shine spark to use however he wants. Yeah, it's basically morphing and unmorphing, then pushing, uh, I think down like eight frames, exactly eight frames afterwards. And then there we go. Fantoon is down for F. Coughlin. That is his first. That is his first Super Metroid boss and his second overall. Meantime, post Krakenmeyer power bombs gives us just missiles. I was gonna grab those because why not? Looking at the ammo counts, we, 
Total has 30 super missiles and 70 regulars. That's enough to comfortably take out Ridley. All right. All right, Total does not have that morph, so his only option here is to glitch this green gate. That involves abusing projectiles and acceleration so that the super missile you fire spawns passes through the gate without interacting with it. He gets it on a second try. Very nice. And then there will be two items here he can check. The grappling beam pedestal. Grappling beam Chozo, I should say. And then Indiana Jones, which is across across the big room to the right, where you would normally swing across on grappling capable rippers. Ooh, more ball bobs. That's not critical, but handy. And that is bottle number three, I believe. Yeah, Toll's not even gonna bother keeping them. Uh that makes sense. He's already got space jumps, already got speed. Uh probably mostly at the this point the morph ball bombs are for saving power bombs. He's only got 10, uh, but it's going to be a pretty long trek back up, so he just decided to uh, just go ahead and reset them. Yeah, Coughlin, I believe, has the same 10. Ideally, we'll find one more, because if we do, then that means we can power bomb the Metroid and Torian without worrying about drops or having to backtrack and recharge if the Ice Beam does not show up. Yeah, it looks like... Did Total not check Cosine Room? I think he just completely skipped that. You unless, can't check Cosine missed... without Morph. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> so, yes, Cosine, Cosine is orphaned for Total. Yeah, Total's going to be a little confused here with... Uh, <laughs> where, where he ended up kind of just getting a whole bunch of nothing. Uh, so he's going to have to make his way back to his Eastern, going to have to make his way back to Desert. Unfortunately, it's uh, going to give Coffin a, a decent lead. But Coffin probably going to do most of what Total did. Uh, Coffin may be able to, to resist the Ursa going to Krokomar. Croc is kind of like the pendant dungeon of SM. Uh, so depending on what the seed gives gives them. Uh, we may not see uh, Croc at all from from Coughlin, uh, especially because we know it's it's a blank except for Cosine Room. Oh, Bombos, that's true. Bombos could actually... Yeah, there's be... not, yeah, the possibility Meyer could be Bombos, and like, if Coughlin wants, he could check that, because he does have the he does have the mitts. Actually, that gives... Actually, Coughlin has two... three... potentially... Yeah, Coughlin has three items he can check check in the Meyer area. The two in the left shed, and then the right shed leads to the goal to reason... leads to the screw attack, Chozo, and that's that's a third. Total taking an unfortunate death there. Might just be a death warp. I'm not sure. There's no point of death warping on the overworld. <laughs> okay, I derped then. Looks like Total's not quite sure what to do next. Yeah, unfortunately, he's got to go back to places he's already checked and just. Like, he's going to be real mad because, you know, he's leaving those items. A lot of, there's so many items and locations available in this. A lot of times you're playing like, well, okay, I checked everything. It's really unlikely that it's going to be there. Uh, he managed to pull that trick off in two dungeons. Uh, so he's really not going to be happy when he, he finds his progression. There's also there's still one prize left in desert, right? On Lamolus. Yeah, I've called and couldn't check that because he didn't get the lamp out of Blue Bren. Uh, I believe so. Retchip Attic is just twenty bucks. Uh, Total can actually kill Lanmo uh, when he gets over there with that red cane, so that'll be exciting. How much damage do do Samaria block? How much damage does Lamo take from Samaria blocks? <laughs> I have no. It's not a lot. I think it's fighter sword damage. I mean, if, if he has enough, if if he can farm some arrows, he could use those too. Oh or, yeah, or he's does, got bow. Duh. Yeah, just good old NMG strats. We'll be fine. Alrighty, uh, wreck, wreck ship reserve tank is just a red rupee, so Coffin will not Coffin will not be picking that up. Okay, Total is heading... Yeah, Total's back at Desert, so he'll get his mitts out of here. And whatever... 
and whatever Landmo has, if he feels like if he feels like doing Landmo, because it is just a pendant. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. top of the sky is a mail upgrade. That's nice. Turtle's gonna be real confused when he sees these mitts, honestly, because it's not gonna be progression for him when he picks this up without that moon pearl. Uh, so he's gonna be glad to have it, but then kind of going like, "Well, where the hell is my moon pearl then? And where the hell is my morph ball?" <laughs> Hey, you said that F. Coffin checked the missiles in the Morph Ball Maze at the middle of the sky? What was that? Nothing. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Total getting into the one area where the L and R buttons are... are the only time they're useful in Link to the Past, getting out of these uh, sand lion pits. <laughs> Could use a little SM arm pumping there. Could have gone out of those. So is, is the way to escape that just a just a large number of button presses? Doesn't matter what buttons it does. No, it's L and R. It's the only time it's either, besides text box canceling. It's the only time they're actually used in a Link to the Past. Like most people don't even know about it. Huh? Yep. I had no idea. I totally it actually might map again. just be. L actually it might yeah, not. It's like only one map. of them. Yeah. Total check this map again. Saw th probably saw that Eastern is a red crystal, so he's, he he's probably heading back there now. Yeah, he figures he can clear it out uh, at this point. It's all in logic. Uh, nothing else to be done. I can also do this uh, King's Doom check. Did we see that from F. Coughlin? I don't remember. Not entirely sure, but it's nothing. So. A buck. Joy. All right, destructible wreck ship, destructible Chozo with super missiles. We already know the reserve is just twenty bucks, so F Compass is not going to bother. And we'll let's see what gravity suit item is. Oh, he's. That's Energy why total tank. keeps coming up here. He never actually got to Spiral Cave. Bury me with my money. All right, I've called one is at the top of the red tower. Looks like he's going to head down it. Toward alpha, toward alpha power bombs and beta power bombs. Yeah, it's total can actually do the sequence break on Silver Bunny here, which is going to be even more unfortunate for him because he won't be able to. Uh, it's less likely to come back to Hookshot. All that honestly is not really going to be anything. Yeah, uh, actually, <laughs> never mind. He's going to have all of Dark World access, so he may not even come up here after getting his his Moon Pearl. So this is just really a unfortunate series of events for Total. Beta power bombs gives us magic powder. That's a fairly nice item. Okay. Fortunately, he's not sequence breaking Super Bunny Cave, uh, so may still have the the pull of coming back up here. Uh, we might also see some thieves town without uh, any weapon. Uninformed pleb. I've called and checked the checked the morph ball morph ball maze in the middle of the sky on his way to Red Ship. It was nothing. All right, uh, all right. Alpha power bombs and and the missiles behind it are nothing. I've often taking a little time to blow those little those crawly things up. I can't remember what they're called because they have a very good chance of dropping power bombs. Right. One hundred percent. Cat, just the caterpillars. They're one hundred percent if you don't right. have uh, if you're not one hundred percent on power bombs. Got it. Easily gets the Super Metroid Hellway with the space jump, and we'll most likely be taking that space jump over to the X-ray scope now. HK-112, Moon Pearl was in the Eastern Palace Big Key Chest.
And... X-ray scope is 10 arrows. ICF Coffin is up to 45 super missiles and 70 regular missiles. I th let me think about this. Think about numbers here. I think with F Coffin's combined missile and super missile count, he he has enough to do Mother Brain, but he might he might need to do what we were talking about earlier, which would be kill the which would be kill the Zepatites and recharge and plus kill oh plus break the glass open on mother rain one and recharge again i mean we're we're a solid two hours away from that it's uh, we're gonna find more ammo and total finds his merle all right well if you guys want to put in your guesses for what Total's thinking right now in chat. Uh, you probably shouldn't because you'll probably they're probably bad words. Because Total is not happy with that. Yeah, he's probably kind of tilted at this point. Although Bionicle Genius points out that he's only missing Morph and he and that he has done a lot of checks that Coughlin's doing now, so we'll see. Yeah, I always hesitate to call a lead until until one person hits go mode or both people hit go mode. I mean, Coughlin definitely has a lead right now, but leads are, are fleeting in, in this. Uh, but you can fairly reasonably say that Coughlin is in the lead. Uh, not only did Total, I just doesn't have didn't have the morph, it doesn't have Moon Pearl. Uh, a lot of the checks he did were pretty inefficient. He died a couple times uh, trying to get the Spiral Cave. Uh, so Coughlin, Coughlin has a lead at the moment, but there's still a lot of game left. Like I said, SM is, is definitely Total's uh, stronger suit. Uh, so I'll expect the total to be making up a good amount of time in there. Meantime, F. Coffin plays the other mail upgrade at crates their missiles. As as total is heading into Lemo, into Armos Knights. Uh, I cannot talk. Total can't quite get the this, the the super quick kill. All right, Crate has 1,000 health. Ooh, he tr takes the super missile to the mouth and closes it immediately. So, F. Coughlin bought that big Crate DLC. It's possible to stomach his mouth open and hit him hit him with four super four super missiles or three supers and a regular in rapid succession so that he doesn't stand up like this. But, but for whatever reason, he closed his mouth on F. Coughlin really fast. Firelight, I like that interpretation. Craig did the stand-up glitch on him. <laughs> Craig energy tank is just a miss. Craig various suit item is just missiles. Having trouble talking again. Alrighty, Total is Total is heading to the Dark World, and he's he's in the Village of Valcast area, so we'll see we'll see what he does. Yeah, Coffin really hasn't found anything with uh, his Morph Ball so far, so it very well could be that the the Morph Ball is going to be a little bit of a, a red herring, even almost. Uh, if Total's able to find a bunch of stuff in Village of Valcast Thieves Town, uh, definitely can put him right back in this game. Uh, then it just depends on, it, you know, potentially if he can avoid some of these SM checks that uh, Coughlin is doing. Post trade, post trade room is a vanilla E tank. Yep, total doing the village Valcast checks. We got what do we have? We have missiles in the Sea Hut.
But Kamikaze's into the brewery for whatever reason. Gets a dope tank for his trouble. I mean, that sucks. I thought Toto's heading for the digging game. All right, high jump, high jump energy tank is three hundred rupees. Post post high jump is three bombs, and we'll see what the high jump item is now. Money. Yeah, total completely ignoring thieves out. Not even opting to do the first four. Uh, you'll see a lot of players uh, do the first four checks of Thief Sound, even if it's pendant or if in the situation where Total doesn't have a sword, maybe a oof. little bit scared to do it. Yeah, 19 just... digs for three bombs. That's that's oof. Alrighty, looks like Fkalfund is gonna get the gonna get the upper Norfair checks out of the way. If he goes to Croc, he'll be able to do that cosine wave. Also looks like okay. Total rescued the frog, and he'll have to he'll have to reset to he'll have to do do he'll have to save and quit and re, to reset to Link's house to keep the frog and take him back. Normally you would do that with the mirror, but we don't have that guy. There's a third power bomb pack from Stumpy, so that's. That's all the po that should be all the power bombs we need for the rest of the game. Ice beam room is missiles. And F Coffin will most likely check Crumble Tower now and possibly head down Crumble Tower to take the va the vanilla sequence to Krogemeyer. Alrighty, folks, let's see if we got Hyper Drive Cave today. There's a heart for total. Bugnet at Bugnet at Crumble Tower. And Kane of Burna at In Hype Cave, the only item of note there. I'm going to call that a D minus. Yeah, Burnham might actually convince Total to, to go ahead and, and dip Thieves Town. Oh, it does right, look Burn like Thieves Town yeah, is Burn a pendant. Burnham's about the safest weapon you can fight blind with, is it not? I mean, the sword. <laughs> the sword is definitely the safest way to fight blind. Well, you're invincible while you're using Burna, so that's why I said that. Yeah, well, if you, if you know how to fight blind, like, the, the sword is just you're not going to take any damage ever. Oh, Roddy, let's see what the Smiths have for total. Oh, he he dipped out, he dipped back out too fast, so gotta head back head back in, back out, and back in again. Or an energy tank. That's not bad. Not progression, but like I said, energy more energy is never a bad thing. All right, looks like Total is heading back to Village of Outcasts. Now, there are two prizes in Skull Woods, correct? Yeah, two two total. Um, they can be locked probably, behind Fire and Rod. Okay, so he probably will not... We probably won't see Skull Woods at all unless it's our last option. Yeah, some players do like doing the front of Skull Woods, uh, kind of treat it as a glorified overworld check. Uh, it does look like Total's probably heading into the Steve's Town uh, checks. We'll see if he decides to clear it. See if, I mean, depending on if he finds anything in the front, uh, depending on if he only gets like one item up here, he may choose to do the whole thing. If he finds three, he may choose to bail. Uh, so we'll see because this is this is a pendant. Ready? I need to run upstairs real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, being the, the green pennant does uh, offer a bonus item on blind as well.
So Coughlin, I, I think Coughlin checks the cosine for him? I was also looking at, at Total Screen. Uh, we'll see, if he didn't check it, we'll see on the way out here. Uh, we'll see if Total will have to come back there. Hopefully not. If you're if you're rooting for Total, you definitely don't want anything on cosine room. Alright, okay, cosine was just a hard container, so uh, Total probably will avoid that for the rest of the game, uh, being it so isolated, and it's not going to end up hurting him, which is good. Total's already kind of taken in the teeth a couple times in the seed. So we're having a little trouble on this highway. Uh, might have been a good time to break out Kane Averna. Uh, he's got a half magic, so he's got he's got plenty of magic. So one of the interesting things is we do actually have Ridley in Logic right now with the flute, the mitts. Uh, space Jump and Varia and the amount of ammo we have, uh, we can take the portal to Lower Norfair, get up uh, through the screw attack room and, and go kill Ridley. So it's it's possible that our progression is in Lower Norfair right now. Because uh, we know up, Upper Norfair is going to be a bust. Krokemeyer was a bust. Uh, not too many locations in SM. Well, we do have Brynloop too, actually. Uh, both players, or Kalfan has managed to avoid Brynloop so far. Okay, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Nope. Good deal. Oh, good point. Uh, good call, Incoherent. Flute is not in Logic. Uh, we do not have the flipper yet. Has Total found anything in Thiefstown yet? No. Okay, so the front was all dungeon items then? Oh, I mean, he found, like, an item, I just, it was nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure Total is hoping to either find the hammer here, or that he, or that the small key has locked itself in the big chest, because if you, orphaning something like that would be awful. Uh-oh. I think I spoke too soon, because I, finding that small key, I think that means there is something in the big chest. Well, we'll, we'll certainly get at least one more menu uh, to get to a weapon that will actually damage blind uh, coming up, so try to peep it real quick. Alrighty, what's the Pun Master blind got for us today? Yeah, so there is going to be something in that big chest, so that's that's pretty bad feel for Total. Tires fixed for a flat rate. Oof. So yeah, using using Verna with that half magic, he's this blind is absolutely a joke. You mentioned that if you fight him with the sword, you can more or less make the fight scripted, but Total might Total might not know the sequence for that. Plus five bomb capacity off a of blind and the green pendant, so that's another item to turn in. Referring Fox, that would just be the worst feeling. Yeah, Total looks like he is going to be opting to make these uh, Front of Skull Wood checks. Uh, at this point, like, probably, I mean, something's got to be in Brinster, or it could just be a uh, chat pointing out before. Flute technically is still out of logic. Well, not even technically, it's just out of logic. Uh, but, like, Brinstar could have flippers, and then uh, the next big item could could be in Lower Norfair. Alrighty, there's one prize out of two in Skull Woods. That's a, that's a good sign for total. Ah, he got lucky. Both prizes, both prizes in the front. 
So he only needs to go any further if he wants to get that red pendant once he's got Fire Rod. Looks like Total's about to start making his Dark Death Mountain plays based on where he's going. That this should finally get him his Morph Ball. Chat, Apathy, if, give me a hand here. Is there anything left that could be on Pad? And I'm thinking about, okay, flippers could be, ice rod could be, oh god, what a, what dark forces have I unleashed? <laughs> Alrighty, F. Coughlin is now doing his skull woods checks. Looks like Turtle is swinging over to the Turtle Rock entrance. Yeah, he'll he sees that it's Ether. All right, yep, Turtle into into Hookshot Cave. He'll get his morph out of this. And I just realized we are an hour and fifteen minutes in. We still don't have a sword. Yeah, it has definitely not been the politest seed so far. Uh, being swordless is definitely playing into uh, Coughlin's advantage. He's going to be a little bit more comfortable in that situation than, than Total is. But Total finally getting his Morph Ball. I'm sure he's celebrating about that. We'll see where he decides to go with this first, uh, if, whether he decides to go for the, the Brin Loop yeah, or not. He, uh, he's hard resetting, so he's definitely heading into Super Metroid. Where is Coughlin going? Does he think he... He doesn't have Cape, does he? Uh, I'm not sure if he found Cape. Uh, there's a lot of stuff well, on the screen. He yeah. yeah, he must have he must have found it somewhere. I don't remember where though. And so yeah, yeah I didn't see what was up here, but it must be something good. Oh, ice beam! Not again, not essential, but absolutely worth the time. Is that that'll save a lot of time on the Metroid and Torian. Plus, it's extra damage on the regular beam. Yeah, except you don't really. A lot of times you just end up turning the Ice Beam off. Uh, it kind of gets in your way more than it helps uh, until you're into the uh, the Turian or potentially Lower Norfair if you also have Full Beam. Baka Shinobi, you wouldn't happen to remember where in Super Metroid Coffin found the cape? If the Turtle is doing the Gauntlet, this is going to be three items for him. So, uh, Total's going to be opening up here with Brinstar. This is probably going to pay off for him. We haven't really seen... We've seen pretty much everything else that is currently in Logic. Uh, Coughlin doing most of the other SM checks, coming up with nothing. Uh, like, if this is if this is uh, Flippers, which would give Total the flute to go to Lower Norfair, and that's the answer, uh, that may pay off for Total. Uh, Coughlin may be a little uncomfortable fighting Ridley on this uh, amount of ammo and health. Kirby fan confirming Cape was at the Spacer Room. Alrighty, back of Gauntlet is... Junk. Total's gonna grab the hard piece just in case. I don't play... It's, a, what, half a second? Not a, not a bad choice. Oh. Oh, right, Total already did Terminator. He did an early dip. I was gonna say, usually if you open with Gauntlet, you'll, you'll peek into Terminator there, but uh, with the early dip he made, he already has that item. So yeah, despite all of Total's 
kind of going to the wrong places for almost an hour here. Uh, like I said, at this point, it's it's fairly likely that the progression is in Brinstar, and he may end up uh, picking it up. Uh, like I said I, before, like you could say Coffin was in the lead early, but definitely can switch really easily with how many checks you can just... Totally, you had Speed Booster, you didn't need the Mach Ball. But there's Grappling Beam, that's not really... Grappling Beam's not really progression, but it's a convenient item. So also opened up an alternate way to kill Dragon. And thank you for my link pointing out that if there's something that Shack Tool grapple is grapple would be a requirement. Oh God, Shack Tool! Total annihilates the B Toms in that room. Two items over here. There's our first sword. Alrighty, then one more item past the Atticoons, those family little creatures who, te who teach you how to wall jump. It took me so long to actually figure out that's what they were trying to do. Like, I tr tried so hard to IBJ up this shaft when I was first learning Tipper Metro, first playing Tipper Metro, and it just never worked. And three bombs at the Atticoon PBs, and Total will, will be heading over to, m most likely, to Big Pink. Yeah, nice little mock ball there to, to get out and not fall back down the Edicoon's pit. Total avoids the trip to the Decora. Honestly, Super Metroid is very near to being full clearable at this point, because let's just low yeah for for what you actually need to be Super Metroid, let's just low percent is only fifteen items and most of that is ammo. Ammo and energy. And there's our gravity suit at mission impossible. Ooh! I think that is Super Metroid Gun Mode aside from ammo. That is yeah, literally every location in SM is full clearable, uh, with Space Jump locking the uh, the one GT item, uh, both suits. Uh, there's a lot of ways to get around in Super Metroid, so SM usually becomes completable first. Uh, so at this point, honestly, with uh, what Total has done so far, uh, I kind of expect the game just to be completed before he heads back to A Link to the Past. Yeah, I'm, like I said earlier, I hesitate to call lead, but I think at this point Total has the advantage. Well, I mean, he still does... If he manages to uh, avoid wreck ship till the end, uh, if he does all that stuff, I mean, Coughlin's already cleared most of that. So, it really just depends on what the routing is here. Uh, Merida could obviously be our progression. Uh, we now have lower Norfair access just through a gravity suit. We don't even need the flute anymore. Alright, total... Okay, totals... Uh, Total's heading for the wave, wave gate room. That is in logic because we obviously we have the wave beam. There's a there's a super missile clip you can set up here, but yeah, that that can be expected on the hard logic. Yeah, with wave, just no reason not to. Uh, Total missed a little uh, morph ball you need to do to get it in one shot. Uh, good try right there. All right, total. We're gonna check charge pedestal and waterway. Charge pedestal is just missiles. Now, if memory serves, this is in logic on normal, even without gravity suit, because of a, li a little tr this little trick you can do with that upper ledge there. Samus is Samus is running speed increments steadily as you as you move with the run button held, but her. But the, the variable the tractor she has speed echoes only increment on the specific frame of the running animation. So you can tap the you can tap the run button around that magic frame to get speed echoes in a shorter runway and charge a shine spar. I believe it's just a single tap on that upper ledge to get shine spark 
get speed that goes and charge shine spark. No, you don't. You don't need any. There's no short taps in Logic in normal. You can get it without uh, tapping up there. Oh, you can. I. It must. It's probably. It must be real. I would think that's really tight then, because I only ever managed to get it with the one tap. Yeah, I think you have to get it with a, a flatly to be able to get it, but I think that's still in logic. But mo like doing a one tap is you just don't push the button right when you start, and it, it becomes pretty easy up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I mean. You just run for half a second and then hit the button. All right, uh, retro brain power bombs is what is twenty rupees. Gonna have alpha missiles, beta missiles, and Billy Mays here. Fire rod and alpha missiles. Very nice. Yeah, with bomb missile ready, all that's really gonna get him is uh, turtle rock. Uh, probably is gonna want to avoid going back to Skull Woods at this point. Total forgetting he got the item early. And there's our second sword. Yeah. Alrighty, that's. That's all the swords we technically need for the game, but Total is definitely going to want one more because Master Sword Ganon is a pain in the butt. Yeah, we'll definitely have to ask Coffin why he opted to put off Brinstar. Uh, he may think that he has got the the disadvantage here, and may need like a big play, like a Brinstar skip to to pull off the win here. Uh, little does he know that he had a fairly big advantage due to Total just completely hard dodging his progression early on. And two Harking Taters in the Billy Mays room. That's not. Again, not not progression, but always wel always welcome. Alrighty, where does Turtle go from here? He's got all of Super Metroid and a decent chunk of Link to the Past. I mean, he's going to be hard staying in SM right now. The, the question is, if he is going up here, I don't see how he's going to skip Wreck Ship. Uh, he may opt to full clear it. So again, uh, like, for Total to to kind of pay off the, the Brinstar check and, and kind of catch back up right here a little bit, he really needs to go to Meridia as soon as possible, I think, or, or Lower Norfair, uh, where the progression Thank likely you. is. We have another two uh, two items here. Down here is the Old Mother Brain... Below, oh, below Mother Brain's old pedestal. That's just a heart piece. He's not going to bother. And then there's the Shaft Supers, which is further up. Bionicle Genius. That, yeah, that sequence makes sense. Rex Ship, Red Tower to Meridia, Craig Ridley. It would always surprise me. It, benefit of hindsight, after I, for, after I first beat... Beat Super Metroid. It surprised me that there is absolutely nothing in Meridia until after you break the glass tube. And there's our Quake Medallion at Shaft Supers. Could possibly still be needed because we don't know what Misery Meyer's what, what the medallion requirement for Misery Meyer is. Although we again, although we do know the Turtle Rock is Ether, so we are still definitively looking for that. Yeah, Total might luck out a little bit here and not actually ever need the flute. Uh, if he does do the lower Norfair dip at some point, uh, and Meyer is not Ether, or, or we run into Ether soon, uh, he could, could just complete Meyer while he's down there, and then just never need to pick up the flute. Alrighty, Omega Missiles is vanilla, so called because it's the last item you get in 100% item collection runs. And Total also has access to the bomb Terizo, and will not have to fight it because the trigger for the fight starting is whether or not you have the more ball bombs, which he noped out of because they were in Krokemeyer. And just five bucks on the bomb Terizo. Nothing doing. Looks like Coughlin's going to opt to do the burn loop backwards, maybe, here? Total going to recharge at the ship, which is absolutely a good idea, considering his health and ammo counts.
Yeah, at this point I feel like the wreck ship play is likely... Oh, uh, maybe? No, okay. He's just gonna speed through here. Uh, he may be feeling a little bit behind now, and so we may see him try to, to skip uh, up a wreck ship, which we know in this seed will pay off for him if he does. As our good friend the Shade says, in a, in a randomizer, it's not the gambles you'd make, what route you take, and what pays off. I do not recall, was there anything in this area? The wreck ship area? No, there's nothing. That's what I'm saying. Total may feel the need to to skip uh, upper wreck ship because uh, he may be feeling a little behind and that would pay off for him if he does end up doing it. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of the, the backwards. I mean, backwards, it doesn't really matter. Uh, generally, this is referred to as the backwards burn loop. Uh, mostly because of where you can farm power bombs and everything and where you need them. It just becomes a little bit more awkward uh, to do. They often keep the, keep the, the Krakomire area items after he did that? Yes. Okay, so he has more ball bombs then. So he, yeah. he, there's no way he can... Okay, so because he's got those, he can't softlock himself by running out of power bombs. Well, he can. Like, well, no, I guess Waterway has the caterpillars. So, All right, Total is going for Doppler strats on Fantoon. We didn't have a chance to explain that when F. Coughlin was fighting him. The idea is Fantoon takes a certain amount of time to close his eye once he's taken enough damage. So if you if you move toward him as you fire, making the shots hit him faster than, th than that interval, you can stomach his eye open. Exactly as Total is doing now. Yeah, it looks like Total's going to get a four round. You can uh, Doppler into a super there to, to finish him off. Uh, I don't know if Total quite had enough damage on him to be able to pull that off, but it's just going to go into a fourth round here and uh, finishes him off. Yeah, Fantoon's RNG is really a pain in the butt. He can move, he can move for fast, medium, or slow before he opens his eye, and then close it fast, medium, or slow too. I believe it's one in eight for fast, one in eight for slow, and then three and four for medium. Yeah, I don't recall if the any percent Super Metroid Speed RTA run is currently at the point where it lives and dies on Fantoon RNG, but I know, I'm sure it will get there eventually. Uh, uh, Behemoth has fast, fast. It's Behemoth and Zost are tied for world record. Behemoth has a fast, fast. And I think Zost had like a fast mid or something. Zost did not get perfect RNG. I know that. I, I don't I don't follow Super Metroid speed running as closely as I used to. A lot of the, like for a game like Super Metroid, I'm I'm more about the tool assist stuff, the theory. How remove human failings from the equation, and how well can and what can you do? Robbie C saying that Behemoth had a mid fast and Zost had a mid slow. Remove human failings. Alrighty, Total making this, the convenience save at the wrecked ship so that he can reset back to it if the if the wrecked ship energy tank is nothing, which we know it is. Yeah, I'm actually not a fan of this if you have space and gravity. It's pretty quick to get through here. You're probably not going to die in spiky room of death. Uh, it just takes time to go out of your way. It doesn't really save that much time. Uh... To reset it versus walking out, and then if it is something, the, the save was just a waste of time in general. 
The save only takes about five seconds, so I still agree with having done it. You gotta go up there, you gotta save. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty long. Afkoflin do does the waterway spark like I was talking about earlier, gets his three bombs out of it. I'm a little mad when he finds gravity in a second here. Looks like he's gonna farm some power bombs because he's a li he's a little low. Yeah, this again. This is why I don't like the reverse. Your your power bomb firing opportunities to finish off the Brinstar loop are are less good this way. Uh, coming from the front, you you go to Edicoons, you'll use a couple power bombs, but then uh, the frogs down there will fill you back up. Can't do it quite as cleanly. You're basically saying, huh? It's, it's just a little bit harder to do, uh, and I mean, the loop is kind of the same either way. Uh, especially if you're an SM speedrunner, you're used to doing it the other way, so you're, you're probably going to be a little bit faster that way. Right, and Bionicle Genius space stating that we had an absolutely great added clear from Total, which I totally agree with. That was, that was definitely a thing of beauty. Uh, looks like F. Coffin is trying to farm up some super missiles. At least I hope it's super missiles he's trying to farm because you, those bugs do not drop power bombs very much. Uh. Ooh, uses his one super missile and gets gets the glitch. What you do there is position yourself in a specific manner so that when you fire the fire that super missile, it breaks the super missile block off screen before it can despawn. Yeah, that shot is how you. That shot is how you skip spore spawn in any in in no hundred percent item collection. So if this total is likely to go down. Uh, to the Meridia Norfair area. It'll be interesting to see if he decides to do Lower Norfair or Meridia first. Um, doing low for, Lower Norfair first would kind of route better back into Meridia. Uh, that being said, you could just go to go through Meridia, go out the top, throw a link to the pass, and then uh, come back to Lower Norfair. But I feel like it's likely one of those two areas is going to be next on Total's agenda. What I see happening if he hits go mode if if he hits go mode through this, what I see happening is do Meridia, down to Norfair, lower Norfair, lower Norfair and Ridley, then backtrack to the backtrack to the amphitheater to the cross game portal, go through there to force a save, and then hard reset. Force Lot also gets visited in 100% map collect completion runs. Point taken by Uncle Genius. Toro still has to do Crate as well. Wait, no, he doesn't. Why did you say that? Uh, I think he does actually. I think that might be a, a mismark on the tracker. I don't remember him going there. I mean, we'll we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, yeah, it's marked on the tracker. That's why I said that. Might be wrong. Incoherent. Yeah, I know Fred did it, but I guess I, I just I must be misremembering about that. Tor 
I must be misremembering total. Sorry if we've got a little quiet, folks. It's just half coffin and total are both backtracking checks. The other is done, so there's no nothing new going on right now. Alrighty, looking at Total's ammo counts now, he has enough to comfortably do both Ridley and Mother Brain without having to backtrack for recharging or destroying things. Yeah, so decision point for Total coming up right here. Once he gets down to the, the bottom of Red Tower here, we'll see if he lays his power bomb and goes Meridia or makes the choice to go into uh, Norfair. Meridia's going to have a few more items for him since he already cleaned out all of the rest of Norfair. Uh, so he may be leaning towards that. You know, very nice uh, jump off the crumble blocks there to save some time by Total. And total confirming for us that that is indeed where the magic cape was. <laughs> I've called them back during the gauntlet to see if there's anything worth bothering with there. Yeah, so Total coming here uh, d didn't do great before. Uh, just a uh, just a little mismark stuff happens. It's, uh, we've missed a bunch of stuff in this as well. Uh, our trackers do a really great job. Alright, DH Storm, Stom, let's... Uh, Apathy, now give me a hand talking through what the logic what the logic has expected of this for D, for our for our new benefit, benefit of new people. Logic of what? The gauntlet? The seed. This Wait. is a good time to go over what the what the seed is expected. Uh... You mean, like, what happened so far? Like, I don't know yeah, what you're the, asking. The, the, the... How the seed has progressed. What, what, what the runners have had to do. Oh, I mean, basically it was just uh, kind of a morph ball moon pearl hunt early. Total missed uh, his moon pearl in you know, Eastern, which uh, he was doing analogic. The lamp ended up being in Retro Bryn, uh, so just kind of a little puzzle to begin uh, early. Uh, Total ended up doing some Village of Outcast stuff when Coffin did uh, Hookshot Cave right away. That's where the morph ball was. And uh, so Kalfa ended up doing a lot of SM, Total did a lot of Link to the Past, and right now they're they're kind of pretty evened up now. Uh, Total really catching up, but despite uh, having some uh, worse routing early on, 
just his execution in SM has, has allowed him to catch up a fair bit to Coughlin and if, is now it's pretty much tied at this point. Really just going to depend on who runs into progression first. We're needing Nice Rod 2 Bionicle Genius because, yeah, Turtle Rock is a crystal. Yeah. This is the kind of scene that I love to see where there's lots of possibility for root divergence instead of just, there's one way to do this, who can do it the fastest. Alrighty, F. Coffin in the Meyer area at last, and the Meyer medallion is Quake. So, we have access to Meyer. Yeah, that's actually going to help Total, like I said before. Uh, when Total comes down to lower Norfair, uh, he's just going to be able to do Meyer then, so he's not going to need to go out of his way to get that flute whatsoever. Uh, holy crap! Absolutely loaded Meyer shed! Hammer and silvers! Yeah, that's going to be good for Toll, too. Again, uh, more of an SM player than Link to the Fast player. He will have Silvers. Most likely, I can't imagine him going to Meyer without checking the set Shed. But he will have Silvers for Viddy, which will make the fight a lot easier. Struggling a little bit with this Main Street Short Charge. The Main Street Short Charge is one of the hardest, so... Let's get some more Power Bumps out of it. I didn't see what Crab Supers was. Did he Did he go far enough for it to show? It, it wasn't anything. I think it was money. Okay. Alright, so he's into here. He'll be heading to Mama Turtle next. Mama Turtle Wall is 20 bucks. And Ma whoop, fell down. Mama Hurdle Energy Tank is just missiles. Now, the timing on the space jump in Super Metroid is a little tricky. Enough so that it is sometimes more efficient to wall jump instead of space jump, like you saw Total doing. Paradigm Levi, yes. A Pegasus, the, the, the Pegasus boot bonk into Misery Mire is in logic on all Link to the Past settings. Alrighty, to Total at the Beach gets missiles for his trouble, I believe that is vanilla. And heading up and toward Watering Hole now. Have we seen anything in Mire? Uh, no progression. Yeah, Meyer is two. Meyer is again two prices, correct? Yes. Already, watering hole is two items and spring ball. Not progression, but another another one of those convenience items that helps out. into the aqueduct room. F. Coffin still working his way through Mire. Two items in this two items in the aqueduct for total. There's 20 rupees and a heart piece. Yeah, it's always interesting to see how people route the aqueduct and the sand pits. There's really no good way of doing it. Uh, Hundo actually does it on the way back from Dragon, but Hundo doesn't have the link to the pass portal that we can abuse. Uh, so a lot of people do what Total's doing here, just save here, he'll scout out the items. Uh, probably also scout out Shaktil here as well. And if it turns out to be nothing, just reset. Uh, you also see people reset actual progression in the one sand pit, go check the other one uh, to make sure they only have to go through one, and just hope both of them don't have anything. Alright, right sand pit is a missile... And an energy tank, so that is not required. 
Total is not going to head down to Shack Tool. I don't blame him for that. Shack Tool is an absolute last resort. <clears throat> Pardon. F. Coughlin heading through the Meyer Dark Rooms. We'll be up. We'll be out of those momentarily. Looks like Total is not actually going to check the other sand pit. Probably, probably plans on doing that on his way out then. Uh, could be. He could be. Uh, yeah, he might do plasma down into the sand pit into to Shack Tool to to leaving. All right, we got synchronized boss fights. Total fighting bot wound, three thousand health. And Vit Vitrius, one of very few enemies in the game that can take more than one Silver Arrow. He can take two. Bugs can't hide, I believe, yes. The, uh, you Space Jump is not required for the Lava Dive in Normal. Normal only, the normal side of Super Metroid Logic only expects tricks that the game actually shows you, either in the game or in the Attract Demos. Yeah, so it's logic required to get through Lava Dive, although it could uh, give you access to Lower Norfair with the Flute and the Mitts. That is that is in logic. So you, Lower, Norfair, Lower Norfair can be in logic without having uh, Space Jump. Alrighty, the first... Screw Attack Chozo is 10 arrows. Okay, Showdown is a heart piece, so absolutely nothing doing there. And Cho... Gold, Gold Torizo Supers is the, the Mushroom. So oh, in... F. Coffin, try, F. Coffin trying to position himself so that... Okay, he, I don't think he knows the positioning to for Gold Torizo to not hit you with the missiles. Or, no, now he's got it. Yeah, Gold Torizo cannot be hit by regular missiles. He'll just dodge them. And he can catch super missiles and throw them back at you. But while he's throwing them back, you can spam more and damage him that way. So in Coughlin's situation on Loda, I actually don't like killing Gold Chorizo here. Uh, the problem is you're going to use most of your supers. You don't have Charge Beam for Ridley, so you're going to need to farm supers back up. Uh, it's pretty slow, and he does have access to this with Flute and uh, yeah. Mitt, so he can come back and check at any time. Yeah. So I prefer him to not yeah. have done this. The farming supers off the Rippers in here is not too slow. It's pretty slow. But he's not going to do it? It's... Yeah, it's you don't want to do it. Well, yeah, he probably should, but again, this, this is Coughlin. Dragon, who Total is fighting Dragon, who's one of the few bosses who takes damage from Shine Sparks. Looks like Total is trying to kill him with a Shine Spark to set up blue suit, or no, he's given up on that. No, blue suit functions by killing Dragon with a Shine Spark. Because anytime Dragon dies, you're set to standing, because you can also kill him by letting him grab you and latching onto those broken turrets with the grappling beam. For being forced into standing position, it makes sure you can't soft lock. So when you kill him with a Shine Spark, you, variables are not cleared properly, and you have permanent speed echoes until you press the run button. Bugs can't hide. Is that canon that Dragon is female? I, I don't remember. I mean, Time F. Coughlin is in the worst room in the game, so named because it lags like a jerk and it's just a pain in the butt to do quickly. Yeah, you really need some canned strats for, for worst room in the game. Uh, Coughlin's loadout's pretty bad for it in general, um, but ends up getting through it without too much difficulty. All right, Coughlin heading up and around to the Mickey Mouse room. Mickey Mouse is an energy tank. Good timing. He gives Coughlin a free refill. And alrighty, looks like Total is heading down. To, looks like Total will now be checking the left sand pit. And as as you said, Duck probably will head head, head up around and up the up the zip tube to check plasma beam as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, left left sand pit is also nothing, but total grabs the, total grabs the super missiles just in case. The Dragon 09, yes, I said Mickey Mouse was an energy tank. Alrighty, it looks like looks like Total Ace and D get a check check tool. As F Coffin is heading down toward Ridley. Normal logic, you have to go up through here. Hard logic, there's an ice beam clip in the next room you can do. It can be faster if you get it first try, though. Um, oh, hmm, hmm, do, 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 I was watching television, I was watching television. Not a whole bunch going on, so I thought I'd just entertain you with my humming and my singing for a little bit, folks. Hope that wasn't too ear grating. Yeah, Coffin might be regretting <laughs> the uh, GT kill coming up here soon. And Shack Tool is just twenty bucks; does not pay off. All right, so I believe the I believe the last check in Meridia that Total has is the Plasma Beam Room. Yeah, interesting bit of routing uh, that Total is doing here. I wonder if he saved because he could just re hard reset all of this and go straight back to uh, post Dragon. I did not see him save post Dragon. The lead space pirate is absolutely trolling the crap out of Coughlin. Yeah, so Coughlin is going to be here for a hot minute. Uh, grapple does make this farm a lot easier. Uh, just farming these little bugs, you can sit up here with the grapple. Problem is, he's low on everything, so he's going to be getting everything, so it's going to take longer. Yeah, this is why I'm saying I, I really didn't like the, the GT kill. Even if he farmed Rippers with power bombs, it was going to take him a good minute to get back up to a comfortable amount. And Coughlin's probably also not comfortable just going in with, with just 30 supers, so he's probably going to be farming to like 35, 40, if I had to guess here. Wait a minute. Total, I don't like this play. You don't have a way to kill the red pirates. Yeah, he does. He's got some speed. Oh, right. Oh, and there's our ice rod. That's... Yeah. That's a pretty big payoff for Total. So uh, these shines to kill the pirates are, are not easy to do. Um, Total, again, like knows all the weird stuff in this game. Uh, does some of the paddling categories and everything. So he'll be able to pull this off. You can see him pushing the pirate to the edge. So he's going to have just enough room to get the uh, the shine here. Uh, Coffin is going to need to either find Plasma or or screw attack. Uh, so that even may even be like a required like Meridia double dip or something. I don't think there's anything else actually in Meridia. Uh, but if he does come into Meridia without uh, either of those two items, he may end up isolating this location. So that this is big for total. It, are the speed booster kills in here in logic? I don't remember. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. I, they're not even in logic and hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this okay, so this is logically isolated by either screw attack or plasma beam then. Yeah, that's what I said. Sorry, I was I was looking to chat. Yeah, you can see these are pretty tricky to do. The the one at the top is especially tricky to get. Uh but again, this is something that Toll's gonna know how to do. This is almost certainly out of out of Coughlin's uh, wheelhouse though. So uh We'll, we'll keep an eye on for Plasma and Screw, uh, but it, those two items are going to be a pretty big determiner in this seed. 
Yeah, I see what. The, yeah, I see how Total has to do this to hit the last one. If he can get get the positioning right, it won't be hard. There we go. Will it get him? Mm, it got him. Yeah, it did. Very nice, Total. Very, very nice. Yeah, that we might be looking back at this as the play of the game. Yeah. Okay, F. Coughlin definitely has has enough ammo to comfortably beat Ridley, and I think he's now decided that too. Yeah, like I said, uh, Coughlin going up to 39 supers here, and using the one on the door, uh, going to be dropping into Ridley. He's definitely have plenty of ammo here. He's got the missiles as backup if he misses any, uh, but should yeah, be Chad able asking, to get. Okay. Yeah, chat asking. Ice Rod was in plasma room. Yeah, it's honestly better for Total that it's an item that locks so little because the seed's never really going to force Coughlin to come there. We may even see a, uh, a you know, the a Link to the Past randomizer. Uh, people love the Ice Rod and Turtle Rock play. So we may see a, a Turtle Rock without Ice Rod play for Coughlin, which is going to be real bad. Um, just depends on where some of the other items were. So what are we still looking for? Uh, plasma or, or Screw for Coughlin? Uh, we do need the flippers. Mirror, and I believe an ether. Yeah. So I'm still looking for a handful of things. Not a lot, though. Alrighty, F. Coughlin takes down Ridley fairly easily. Honestly, Super Metroid is not the hardest game in the world, especially once you put even a little time into it. Huts 12, the Shiny Spark is a tech thing. There's a creature in Rinstar called the Decora that shows you how to do it. It is also demonstrated in the in one of the attract demos that comes up well, if you sit on the title screen for too long. Alrighty, if Total's thinking about it, he's in a good position to swing back to Krokemeyer and check the cosine room. I kind of expect he's just going to hard isolate that at this point. Though that ice rod may have him feeling pretty good. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what he does after Crumble Tower because he has not checked this. Okay, yeah, he is not going back. He is not going back to Krokemeyer. Yeah, wouldn't it have been a bad time? Because he, he's going to lower north here. You could just take the lower route. He could get the refill and the Nutella uh, refill. And then just go straight into the lower north here. So if he was feeling like he didn't want to uh, isolate that, especially sniping that ice rod, uh, and the fact that he got a couple last locations early, it uh, would have been a nice time to, to clean it up. But he's probably just going to hard isolate it at this point, And it's not going to hurt him. Sixty-four minute link. Yeah, the skill cap in Super Metroid is ridiculously high. You can especially see it if you if you like watching tool assisted runs and you compare the tool assisted Super Metroid to re RTA Super Metroid. Alrighty, what do we have at the Firefly E tank? The other book. Wonderful. Yeah, total making use of this uh, farming station down here. Going to be a little bit faster than uh, farming anywhere else in Lower Norfair. Uh, so he'll, he'll get a decent amount of supers here. Uh, let me just see if he kills GT, because again, I, the reason I didn't like it from Coughlin was because he had flute and mitts. Uh, total does not, so uh, it's going to be really hard to come back to GT uh, for Total. Yeah. Morph Maze, Morph Maze Missiles is nothing. Hoda Ruby Special is also nothing. And then the last item in last item in Lower Norfolk will be the Franker Z Room, which is one screen left of here. And that's our screw attack. There, oh, that's... That, is, that is Coughlin's access to the, to the Ice Rod. 
Yeah, so unfortunately, pretty much Total's big advantage just went away with that. Uh, Coffin could still choose to skip Plasma Beam. Some people, I mean, it's a pretty slow check, uh, depending on how you route it. Um, but uh, that's nullifying a large part, part of what Total's advantage was going to be. Bacon Bacon 1207, I, I said earlier, with how long the how long a, 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 an SMZ 3C takes, the number of times I see racers finish within a minute or within even seconds of each other is just so surprising. Lizzie, Ice Rod was in Plasma Beam. So at this point, I think between the two runners, we've seen all of SM. I don't think there's anything less. Um, so there's got to be progression somewhere in A Link to the Past. Coughlin looks like he's heading up to Hera. This is one place... Oh, wait, no, he doesn't have a mirror. Excuse me. This might just be a spike kit check, actually. We have the tablets open, too, now that I think about it. Yeah, I mean, we do have Hera access. Uh, you just have to go around the world to get it. Uh, probably going to see Pod from Coffin first. Uh, there's a crystal, five items in there, uh, locked by the ha Or at least the boss was locked by the hammer. You can do most of it without. Uh, Ice Palace is also in Logic now, so likely that our next bit of progression is going to be in there. Alright, Spy Cave does not pay out. Alright, total in the perfect position that Golterizo will not... should not... I thought he couldn't? Hit him with the th with the thrown back missiles. Okay, apparently I was wrong. Okay, maybe now yeah, now he's got it. I think, just in time to end the fight. Gonna grab the drops, and most likely, yeah, I'm gonna head up and grab the mushroom. Okay, so question now is, does he does he dip into the mire area or does he? Or does he go straight for Ridley? Meantime, I I somehow missed that F. Coughlin had both five six crystals, and he is now checking the pyramid ferry. <laughs> we have a couple. We have a, a some dark. We have a few. Light world, dark world, overworld checks. There's sword number three for F. Coughlin in the in the pyramid in the pyramid. That's 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 good. I'm sorry, Axel Higgs. I think you mean bacon sword. All right, the little guy often is is heading for the catfish. Yeah, catfish, pretty annoying location to get. Tends to be isolated. Can't even really combo in with anything if you don't have a mirror to get back to the Zora area, which was already checked by Coughlin. Uh, so this is just kind of the only time he's ever going to get over here. You can, in the combo, compared to the normal randomizer, you can actually co combo this in with the Meridia play. Uh, we actually may see that from Coughlin here with a fake flipper. Oh! Catfish with the mirror! 
Yeah, uh, well, as big as the ice rod was for total, that uh, <laughs> coffin continued to hug bombs. It's amusing to me. Uh, yeah, as big as the ice rod was for total, uh, that mirror is pretty big for Coughlin. Again, Catfish can be an easily isolated location. Uh, total doesn't even really have the option to combo it in with a Meridia at this point. And as Shadow's pointing out, the Mushroom Turning is literally right here, is it not in the Light World? Yeah, it's the Light World side of it right there. Uh, but it looks like not... he's not going to do it? He might oh, be going look... back. Okay. <laughs> so when you're routing... Oh. A lot of times when you're playing these, you kind of have a route like mapped out. You go like, okay, I'm gonna like go to Catfish, and then I'm gonna check, you know, Pod or Graveyard Light. And then when you get an item that can change your routing, it's actually really hard on the fly to realize like, oh, I should do this right now. Uh, so yeah. not really surprising when you play these a bunch. Like it's that kind of like dynamic routing is is really difficult to to do, and uh, something you see the, the top players able to pull off. Yeah, I don't. I've never actually played SMZ three. It's kind of just, the whole concept is kind of intimidating to me, but I love watching it. So, I played SM solo randomizer before, way back when Desirek was man was the main maintainer of the tool. Uh, E-Tap, we have the powder, so... Oof, Green Pendant Turnin' is nothing, and he's pissed. At least he's got the extra bombs to do it with now. We've got a fairly substantial substantial number of bomb capacity at this point. Alrighty, so we've got to give this our first look at Pod. Imosaru, good for you. Let us know how it goes. Speaking of emo, we got a uh, something is missing text message up on uh, total side. Getting, uh, getting the big key over here. I think the big key, the big key, the big chest was just one of the dungeon items. So he's he's fine orphaning that. Oh. Total uh, hook shining right into the wizard. If you're gonna do that, you want to make sure you come diagonal down a little bit, and then you can grab the pot and kill the wiz there. He's got plenty of health though. Red mail, he'll be fine. And there's our flippers in. I believe that's the big key chest in pod. Yeah, that's the big key chest. Time Stalker, yes, either, for, I believe you're right, either for no mode. Thing is, though, I believe we're, I believe at this point with Ether, we're at the same problem that we normally have with Ice Rod. It doesn't lock anything, so it can be anywhere. Yeah, it, not having Ether is better than not having Turtle Rock because it prevents you from doing the half dip into Turtle Rock uh, since Turtle Rock's just hard locked. Turtle Rock makes a ferry to top off before Viddy. 
I think it looks like he's going to do... Looks like he... Yeah, he's going to do dash strats. Silvers would have been the faster option here. You can get a fairly easy zero cycle with them, but this may be the safer option, although he ends up running out of magic. Uh, you can also just spam your sword uh, with the cape. The magic actually doesn't drain if you, if you end up doing that. <laughs> Standing right in the lightning. Now, I believe that has to do with... Le There's ether in the basement of... Pod. Alrighty, I... Is that... Okay, that is, that's our no mode. F. Coughlin is... F. Coughlin is an ice rod away from go mode. Yeah, that kind of snuck up on us here. Um, yeah. So, yeah, he will have to make that Meridia play. Uh, only looking at one item, skipping Plasma may be uh, a little bit more attractive to him. It really depends on when he ends up going into Meridia. Pod Big Key in the Dark Maze, and he's heading down toward the big chest. The other chest on the Dark Maze is Super Missiles. Is he going to... Yeah, he looks like he's going to head back to the... Okay. Yeah, heading back to the entry. To and total, total using Power Bombs once to far to get some super missiles from the rippers in the post screw attack post screw attack room. Yeah, I'm also surprised he didn't farm up a little bit more. The the rippers would definitely be faster than farming the bugs. He does have 115 missiles though. And Toto's gonna be a lot more comfortable with a low ammo fight than uh, Coffin was. So he we may see him go in there with just like twenty super or something like that. Trails, Trail Z, I am Big Bok. My co my co commentator is Apathy Duck, aka Duck McGuck. Don't ask. Total trying to get around this last space pirate, trying to trying to conserve some ammo here. Uh, pretty tricky to do. Uh, you really want like high jump boots at, at a minimum in in this room. Uh, it does actually end up getting by, saving some of that ammo that he's going to need later on for really. So nicely done by Total. Yeah, he's going to head around and check Mickey Mouse. Th that uh, the energy tank there will give him a very timely refill. Unfortunately, he doesn't have more ball bombs, so he's going to have to blow blow away that whole floor, which, if, if he's not careful on his way out, he could fall through. But he is careful, and he's fine. Alright, totals into the amphitheater as F. Coffin is coming to the Helmosaur King. It's 17 or 18 rock with the hammer to break the mask. 17. 15. My mistake. 17. Oh, 17. I misheard you. And then it'll just be one silver arrow to the noggin, and he will go down. Or maybe just a couple of tempered short swings. Yeah, at this point, both our players, you can draw a pretty straightforward line for both our players to send into the seed. Uh, Coughlin needs to go into Meridia, uh, Colt needs to go into Pod. The Pod play is fairly obvious at this point. Uh, so, I mean, the Meridia play is also fairly obvious for Coughlin. If Coughlin ends up back during Meridia, and then uh, doing Dragon going straight to Plasma, Coughlin will be able to skip most of Meridia, getting his good mode in there. And that'd be a pretty big advantage for him. So it really just depends on. I think really the the outcome. Of this is mostly going to depend on Coughlin's uh, routing. Uh, there's not a lot of SM execution left uh, for Coughlin uh, besides that Meridia, and then we have uh, Turian, uh, which is where Total Strength is. So there's not a lot of opportunities for Total to catch up from that perspective. Total going for missile strats on the pirates. You can also kill these guys with Shine Spark Echoes by Shine Sparking properly, but I 
may, he might not know that, or he might not be comfortable doing it. He definitely knows oh, it. Oh, oh, pet check, but we know this is dead. Space lasers can be sucky. Yeah, that's the space arm. Rip pad, as if we didn't already know that. Coughlin heading for Rice Palace now. Yeah, we could see... Well, the problem with that, you, you can't really... Ice Palace isn't Dark World, um, Red Portal isn't Dark World. Unfortunately, you can't actually get from point A to point B because of the way uh, Ice Palace is situated with needing the, to pick up that rock to get there. Uh, so it just feels like you can combo it in, but you actually can't. Uh, so this is... Yeah, so we'll probably end up seeing... Uh, yeah, Swamp Palace. We might see most of A Link to the Past before Coffin actually gets to Meridia. Uh, and it's just going to depend on where War Total goes first. I, I just I feel like Pod is such a strong play at this point, getting that hammer. I uh, jump boots in the Penguin Room. That's awesome. Yeah, Total is probably more likely to beeline his go mode than Coffin is to beeline his. So... Oh, you know, actually, chat point out, I completely forgot Total does not actually have the mirror. Yeah, so uh, Total could could dodge that mirror uh, as well. It's, especially, again, Total does not have to go to Meridia. There's no uh, benefit to comboing it in uh, to a Dark World uh, Meridia access. Total doesn't need the flute. We don't need the flute to complete the seed. Total has already completed uh, Misery Mire. Coffin setting up for the bomb jump. Get it. E tab. Yes, he's done with Mire. Yeah, the thing, like, it's a little interesting, uh, Total would be able to uh, get the mirror, and then he could just go straight to uh, Zoro to pick up the flute. Uh, but it's just, at that point, it's really not saving too much time with the dungeons he has left, uh, so he, he could just completely opt to not pick it up, which I feel like is, is pretty likely. So that is all four Super Metroid bosses down for total. He can finish Super Metroid anytime he wants, but the usual protocol is to beat Ganon's tower, save and quit, and hard reset to spawn back at the ship and head right to Torian from there. That's, that's about the most convenient way to do it, but sometimes, sometimes other, uh, sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Okay, let's compare... Let's compare progress. Okay. Both runners have Kraid, Fantoon, Ridley, and Eastern done. Total also has Ridley. Well, Coughlin also has Pod and Meyer. Who's got the advantage here? Uh, like I said, Total's got a pretty straightforward just if he... If he can make the catfish play after Pod, I think he's got a pretty straightforward route. Uh, it just depends on when he does that, uh, and then it just depends on when Coughlin decides to go to Meridian and which direction he enters it from. Well, we, yeah, we 100% have Dragon locking the 
blocking the ice rod because that door doesn't open until you've beaten them. Hyper Strike, yes, it's in the plasma beam room. Uh, Tortle did some very impressive shine spark tricks to take out the, the space pirates in that room. But wh when Coughlin gets there, he'll have the screw attack and that'll make it trivial. Meantime, Coughlin is coming up to Cold Stare. Looks like he's going to save time instead of saving magic and use the fire rod to melt Cold Stare's shell. Reasonably good grouping strats. Didn't quite keep them grouped, but, ex but very well done fight. Yeah, this is why the six strat slash is a misnomer. And that gives him the plasma beam. Now fully we had charge. Yeah, Plasma, at this point, Plasma is really not going to help out unless we stumble into Charge Beam at some point. Alrighty, so Tortle has nothing left in Super Metroid, so he's definitely heading back to Link to the Past. But once he's there, what does he do? I, I mean, I think the pod play is incredibly obvious. It just is the catfish play also obvious at that point. And there we go, Elf Coffin turning in the mushroom, and maybe since he's here, since he's here with three bottles, he might buy some potions too. Yeah, yeah, it looks like he's gonna buy a couple of bottles of Mountain Dew Voltage. Total looks like he's making the hammer play. This, with just the hammer, this is pretty slow. I mean, you can always save and quit back up here. Uh, so I'm. I'm not really a fan of this this move here. Uh, again, Pod is so valuable um, that I, I think it just makes sense sense to go for. Uh, Total's other option to get Catfish is also with getting the uh, Big Bomb, heading up to Pyramid, and then going to Catfish afterwards. So that does put Catfish as a combo with something else, uh, making it a little bit more likely that uh, Total will decide to do that. It's just a matter of when. And we know pot. We know pot is the play because that's for, because ether is all we need for his for go mode. Yeah, I mean, it's, oh, I, I, he's checking the tablets. Well, I'm sure he's going to do a pair while he's up here. Like this would be right. This would be quite cosmic brain to come check ether and not do Hera. Missiles. Alrighty, looks like I've called on. He's now doing swamp. Yeah, I mean, even with, I try not to do, like, hindsight with knowing where, where things are, saying, like, oh, pause the play, because it has progression. I, like, in a vacuum, I, I would be saying pod is is the play, I think. Uh, it's just, it's a crystal dungeon, you gotta get it done. I mean, he doesn't have the flute, so he can't get over there all that quickly. Uh, but he couldn't get to hair quickly, either. Um, you know, Ice Palace does not that load it, a little bit of a slower dungeon, only three items. Uh, Pod's just got five items, it's likely, it's the most likely place to be. Um, and there's so. our last sword in Hera. So depending on what... Yeah, considering the location of that in Hera, I would say Coffin is for sure going to have delicious creamy golden butter when he fights Ganon. I mean, maybe not. He's going to be in go probably go mode when he comes up here. Um, he might just Hera pot to go straight up and not even check anything in there. Not too general. No, Total does not know where Flippers are. He has not been to Pod at all. Uh, Total sets up coffee break strats there and give him a thirty sec like about a thirty second gap. Catch his breath, take a drink, maybe wipe his palms. Nick Salvinson, Zora Ledge was flute, not Pod. 
Their lunch was flute, not flippers. If flippers were there, they would be impossible to get. Uh, looks like to uh, yeah, look yeah, Total waited there a little longer than he needed to. Might have might have stepped away from his from his console for a bit. That is the vanilla location for the Hera Big Key, is it not? In the basement? Yeah, it's the Big Key. HK, Mir is on Catfish. Yeah, both our runners looking for an item in a location that is pretty skippable, uh, so it just depends on when they do it. Uh, Coughlin is doing so much on Link to the Past, though, by the time he gets to Meridia, I feel like there's going to be too little left for him to actually skip uh, Plasma, especially with having screws, so it is in logic. Well, screw and Plasma now at this point, so... Lag. Alrighty, that is, that is Argus and Swamp Palace down for Coughlin as Total is coming up to Moldorm. With Butter Sword, with Tempered Sword, one swing and one swing and one spin should do it if he doesn't fall. Or three swings, because Moldorm did not cooperate. Boom. Yeah, Kaufman also going to be coming into these left side checks that he he left. Um, left side checks almost are effectively not actually part of the dungeon. They're just it's more like mimic cave. They're the items you can do uh, when you have access to the dungeon. You don't like abandoning them though, because to come back to them you have to re flood the dam or re drain the dam and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so it, it makes sense putting it at the end, especially being one item for go mode. If Ice Driver's just in the back, he could just completely skip this. It looks like Total is doing his spike cave now. Yeah. So it looks like Total was either making the... Okay, it looks like he's going to be making the Fat Fairy play. Uh, really, this is really a big moment. Uh, not so much for the Fat Fairy as anything, but this is the most likely time he's going to decide to do Catfish. Uh, so we'll see if he decides... Although, on the other hand, like doing this before Pod, like you could come with this in with Pod as well. So a pretty big moment coming up here for Total.
Yeah, so far the, the two, I, I guess, big uh, decisions, not necessarily plays for, for Coughlin, is uh, really putting off the Brenlin for a long time and uh, putting off this, these Meridia checks for a long time, uh, staying in a length of the past. This, this may just be not necessarily any sort of like thinks how the routing would make the most sense or anything like that. It just might be he thinks he's the stronger length of the pass player and is uh, just trying to leverage that and clearing as much length of the pass first as possible. So, okay, Total did decide not to go to Catfish, is going to Pod. Uh, you may be thinking that's good because Pod is Flippers, but again, this may be a Catfish isolation as well. Uh, I guess the other likely way to do it is he does... Well, wait, no, he doesn't have to do Skull with it's dependent. Uh, but he may, like, do Bumper Ledge into Graveyard Ledge into Catfish. Uh, that's that's really the other time he is likely to do it. But honestly, he's probably going to do the same thing that Coughlin is doing here. And first chase down all the dungeons before making those checks. Uh, so um, unless he walks out of Pod, which is pretty rare because this screen is very long to go through. Uh, Catfish may not be in for a while. Although he can't do Swamp, so, uh, excuse me, he doesn't have the mirror. Meantime, F. Coughlin set up the same coffee break strats that Total did earlier. Functions by... by raising yourself up... It, your Z position while you're standing on the, those tiles is bugged, so you so your just registered as invincible. Uh, Chad making another good point. They're... The flute is up there. Even though the flute's not going to help total that much, he, it may lure him up there, actually, uh, figuring he can go check Catfish and then, and then get his flute. Uh, we know the flute's not going to be very much useful if he was in go mode, but in the situation where he's got to make a bunch of checks, uh, he may be tempted to pick up the flute because he doesn't know where he has to go yet, and then he's just going to stumble in a go accidentally. If I recall correctly, Catfish in the Dark World is where the Waterfall of Wishing is in the Light World. Is that right? Yes. Oh, yeah, and, but... Okay, so yeah, I could, I could see that play. Yeah, except it doesn't work unless you know the mirror is there, so he won't be doing that. Oh, oh shoot, you're right. Yeah, it's really hard to, to back these out when you're commentating, because you know where things are. You're like, oh, yeah. So you're just thinking catfish, mirror, plus Zora. Yeah, that makes sense. And then you realize, oh, wait, but he doesn't actually know it's there, and it doesn't make sense if you don't have it yet. And of course, it absolutely murders Moldorm. Yeah, it's really unfortunate it is the mirror there, because any way you want to combo that in, besides doing the pyramid into to Catfish, it really is going to require the mirror for a decent routing. So, unless he just he starts getting a little frustrated and just... Yeah, I mean, he may just go, like, I'm never going to get close to Catfish again, I'm just going to do it now. Uh, you know, I, I don't know when he when he goes there. Adirondack Rick, the ice rod is at the plasma beam room. Yes, very you. Yes, Fr and yeah, Fred also got plasma off of Cold Stare. Yeah, so with Coffin coming into Maria now, uh,. Unless he just completely decides to skip Plasma, which, again, he doesn't have much left. Uh, so I feel like it's unlikely he's going to skip Plasma. Uh, Coughlin probably has the advantage here. 
Uh, yeah, Total. I, I would yeah, say Total just visited the the basement, so he's definitely got his ice rod at this point. Not ice rod, ether mod, ether medallion. Yeah, he, he picked it up. Uh, but I mean, again, with, with Coughlin being a slightly stronger link to the past player, I would say Total really needs to not only uh, would have to get his go mode first. Uh, he'd have to get it with a little bit of advantage, especially because I mean, Coughlin does have more dungeons completed as well. So uh, unless Coughlin just completely decides he doesn't want to do plasma, which some players just absolutely hate it, and they will last location it. Uh, Coughlin is in a very strong position right now. Uh, Coughlin only has Turtle Rock left. Uh, Coughlin has Turtle Rock and Dragon left. Meantime, Turtle has Ice Palace, Turtle Rock, Swamp, and he's in pod now. Yeah, yeah. I, again, I know the length of pass randomizer players, they love that Ice Rod and Turtle Rock play. He may he may kill Dragon and then start making that. that that's really Total's main hope, is that Coughlin does that and has, has to not only double dip Meridia, but double dip Turtle Rock. Double dip Turtle Rock is about the worst thing I can imagine in standard Z Z3 randomizer. It's even worse in the combo randomizer, just because there's so much so much so much that can go wrong. Yes, charge can be in GT now with the ammo requirements uh, being changed for Ridley and Mother Brain, where just just ammo uh, is sufficient to to kill him. Yeah, both of our runners definitely have the ammo to ammo to beat the game without charge, but it, charge charge would be faster. Maybe not actually, because uh, Coughlin's got sixty five supers. That's enough to kill Mother Brain just on supers. Charge plasma is always the fastest fight if you have it, if a full beam. Not charge plasma, the full beam. Yeah, charge ice wave plasma. Yeah, sixty super isn't that much slower because the supers can be fired that much faster. Yeah, supers are faster than anything besides full beam, so you should always expend your supers, even if you're missing just like ice. Right. If I remember the beam sequences correctly, charge with plasma is four fifty. Add ice is 600, add wave is instead, add wave is 750, and then add ice and wave is 900. Yeah, I never remember the, the exact, I just remember full beam is 900, that's literally the only one I know. Super Metro is my bread and butter, so... Alrighty, total coming up to the end of the end of pod. He'll be fighting. He'll be fighting Helmosaur King, as mentioned before. Seventeen hammer wax to knock the mask off. And then how many swings is it with the gold sword? Uh, two, I think. No, apparently not. All right, Mer Merith eighteen in chat. Yeah, what total does next? It will, it will probably determine who wins this. If he hit, if he gets catfish, then if he gets catfish, then he total's got a chance. If he doesn't, then he pro then it's probably going to be Coughlin's race. I, I think Coughlin needs to skip Ice Rod at this point for for total to have a chance. There's there's just too many dungeons for. Uh, total to do, and again, Coughlin is the the stronger uh, link to the past player, so uh, it's gonna be tough for Total to catch up. As there was that, I might have misspoken there a little bit. I I know how the dam I know how the damage values work. I just might have might have misspoken. All right, Total is going to Ice Palace now. I was actually about to say, it not what wouldn't be likely given his ammo count, but Coughlin 
could have softlocked there if he ran out of ammo. Yeah, Mirror, it's like I said, I know it. I'm just saying, incredibly unlikely, but technically possible. So, Duck, here's a question for you. Earlier, I described the high jump boot as the best Super Metroid item you don't think about. Is there, an, is there anything in Link to the Past that you would describe like that? I mean, not really. I mean, and <laughs> I don't know. I think everyone thinks about high jump. It's so good to have. Like, it's the boots of uh, of Super Metroid. You're screaming that you don't have high jump most of the time, especially if you get a speed. Speedless high jump is terrible. But what I was asking was, is there an item in Link to the Past that you would describe like that? I, no, not really. I mean, kind of need all of them. <laughs> Link to the Past has a lot more hard locks. Boots are the things that makes you go fast, and again, everyone, everyone is complaining about boots since the moment the seed starts. Looks like Total is trying a Samaria block clip here. Is this the, is this what they call Icebreaker? Yeah, this is Icebreaker. So it's just a couple of one frame inputs. A little tricky to get. All right. Meantime, Coughlin is going to grapple kill Dragon. He's been grabbed. He latches onto the turret, conducts the electricity into Dragon, and crispy fried shrimp. Total. I think Total may be forgetting. He needs to move one frame left here. There he goes. He's got it. Okay. Good deal. Icebreaker is a recent discovery, isn't it? Yeah, it's about two to three months old, uh, found by Yuzu, of course, because Yuzu's found everything. Alrighty, folks, moment of truth. Plasma beam is open, does have coffin go there. Yeah, mind me. I think it'd be easier to list the things that Yuzu hasn't found in this game than the things he has. Yep. He, going through Cack Attack Alley, there's nowhere else he could be doing but Plasma. Yeah, so this is definitely going to be uh, Coughlin's seed to lose at this point. He's got all four bosses down, only going to need to have to do Toro Rock. Uh, even if Total... Uh, just beeline straight to mirror right now. He's still going to have to do uh, Swamp Palace on top of Turtle Rock. Uh, so Coffin's got a pretty pretty comfortable lead at, at this point, I think. This is the uh, the two versus three matchup in this in this bracket, and uh, I, I'm I was the one, number one seed. And I have to say, when I saw the brackets uh, coming out, and I got Total and Coughlin in my group, I was uh, I was not happy about it because they're both real strong players. Um, so it's a uh, it's definitely going to be either one of these guys is going to be uh, tough to get through. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, at 247.19, F. Coffin is our first runner into GO MODE! Alrighty, Total is reaching Cold Stare as 
Okay, so what is that coffin going to do to get back back to Link to the Past? Mostly, uh, okay, yeah, I think what, yeah, I think he's gonna head to, I think he's gonna head to the business center and take that portal. Total yeah. using the cape against Cold Stare for safety. Absolutely reasonable since you've got the, since you've got half magic. Yeah, I think Coffin just would have been better making the U-turn uh, and going straight back to the uh, the portal below Dragon. What makes you say that? It's faster. <laughs> it a, Do you have easy walk. access to Dark Death Mountain from there, though? Just save and quit. <laughs> like, you have easy access to Dark Death Mountain from anywhere. Oh, duh. It's. Yeah, I could. I could see this being about the same speed because he'll be. This will put him right at Death Mountain, as also uh, nine 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 pointed out. Yeah, it puts him right. But the amount of extra walking he had done, he, he would have been faster the other way. Uh, again, Coughlin hasn't played a lot of this, uh, so it might just be a little unfamiliarity. It's not a big deal. It's probably only like within like a minute difference, if that. Not to mention the alms that are on the way to that portal are a pain in the butt to get around, so... Let's see if Toro buys some potions here. Yep, he is also gonna buy some Mountain Dew Voltage. Oh, this is so painful. Total is theoretically so close to the to the mirror. Yeah, it ends up again. If he if it was anything else on Catfish, uh, I, I feel like the routing uh, to combo this in with Catfish, mirror, get your flute, and then just stumbling into your go mode on Catfish uh, would have worked out really great for him. But it, the fact that it's Catfish mirror is is just uh, unfortunately gonna kill kill total and the we, we were thinking the the ice rod play was gonna be the play of the game and it turns out that catfish play is really what ended up swinging this not to mention total having some struggles early putting him in, in a hole that uh, he didn't manage to pretty much claw his way out of by about mid game and then uh just again coffin making the making the right play at the right time is, is going to be the difference here i'm in for a play but i do indeed remember pepsi blue i loved that stuff Very nice micro there by F. Coughlin to hookshot, hookshot and use the iframes to dodge the spike rollers. Ooh, skeleton absolutely. Skeleton trolling the crap out of, of Coughlin. He exits the platform and it knocks him right off. The pedestal is the spread pattern augmentation of ZBZ and emission of radiation.
Okay, what is Tortle doing now? Is this possibly his catfish play? Is there anything else in this area he could be doing? It's probably Skullwoods, is what it probably is. I think there's... I, well, I forget how many items are in there. It looks... Maybe he is making the catfish play. He got, he Although, got both prizes out of Skullwoods. Yeah, okay. If you were gonna... Oh, no, he's oh, going to do... Oh, hammer pegs. Yeah, he's gonna do hammer pegs. Uh, catfish, you'd probably go to the swamp portal and then go up to it, but it is... The catfish is all by himself right now. It's basically on the moon. Yeah, hammer pegs and possibly the... the lunchbox. Yeah, SMZ3's got a lot of... There's a lot of advantages, a lot of disadvantages compared to a normal randomizer. Um, one of the things I definitely like is SM being such an execution-heavy game. It, it, it allows just high-skilled players to, to carry a little bit harder and not needing to make as many gambles. Uh, the downside to it is there's so many locations. When you're looking for just one item, uh, you, you know, it, normally in the next batch randomizer, oh, it could take you like 10 minutes, 15 minutes compared to someone who, like, God routes it. Here, it could take you, you could lose by an hour if you just pick the wrong location to be last. And as I mentioned, you can lose by an hour or you can lose by 20 seconds. It's, it's, it's so good. Oh, that dead rock. Oh, gosh. Well, there's our charge beam. Please find a key. That would be the worst feeling in the world to not have a key, get here without a key and not find one. Rip. Oh no. So it's something like a 2% chance for that to happen. Uh, basically the only way that happens is if the vanilla big key and the big key chest are both keys. Uh, so it, from a race perspective, it really doesn't matter because pretty much every single person uh, makes that play. The only time you wouldn't is if you think you're behind by a mile and you need a Hail Mary. Uh, so it ends up biting everyone equally. And oh, oh no, Total is making... Well, I guess is that he can at least clear it, but Tur yeah, Total is going to make making the Total Rock play here. Uh, the one advantage here is because Total is looking for items, he will get all the keys. Uh, so he won't have to make this uh, weird double dip that uh, Coffin is being forced to make. So apathy. As long as we've got got some got a bit of downtime, what else can we look forward to in the tournament? I'm sorry, what? What other matches do we have coming up today? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I signed up for this at the last minute just because I saw it was my my group, and I was like, oh, I'll commentate that. Get the hot scatter. Give me sec. Okay. All right. So I'm 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 taking a look at the. Taking a look at the schedule, at 5.40 we have Hat 78 versus Piece of Soap. There's no channel assigned to that yet, but that might not get, that might not get a restream. 6.10 we have Dorkmaster Fleck versus Lack Attack on Speed Gaming 5. That's got commentary and tracking already. Tonight at 11.10 we have Nidorific versus Ola Neneness. That's got tracking and commentary also. There's a few, there's a few in there 
There's a few in there with sign-ups, but nothing confirmed yet. It probably depends on channel availability. And then, and then tonight, uh, then tonight at 1.10, we have Thornetto versus Ivan, commentated by Semper Firedog and tracked by Sandras316. Yeah, a couple pretty good names there. Uh, Ivan's a really good uh, SM player. Uh, Nito is one of the people who've been playing this a bunch. Usually, like our weeklies before the tournament start, we're like five people. Uh, so he's a real strong player. Um, As I recall, just... back when we had the two v two tournament, Ivan and Andy went undefeated. I just, I just hope Ivan remembers how to do speed Z skip. Yeah. Uh, at around that rick, yeah, we've got Asda versus Robin at 210, com calmed by Epi37 and Tracy M. Both of them are good at this. Alrighty, F. Coughlin has the seventh crystal. Do we do the big, do we do the Gannis Tower big key guessing game uh, since this is a tournament race? All right, well, it's a, little, it's a little late to actually start the game, but I'm going to go ahead with my usual guess. Four always wins. All right, each... Coughlin heading to the left side, right side first, got it. What are directions? Looks like he's gonna, looks like F. Coughlin's gonna go full right. Yeah, we'll see if he decides to go all the way down to Ice Armor or not. A lot of different routes to do in here. Uh, my advice is always just, just pick one and just, just do it. Uh, you can kind of metagame yourself a little bit too hard in these situations sometimes. Or did not win. It was the X-ray scope. That's uh, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, if Coffin does choose to do stand up, uh, X ray will make it a little bit safer for him. Alrighty, the torch will be number seven. And there it is! Yeah, Total's gonna be a little confused after clearing out this laser bridge. I hope Total remember. I wonder if Total even remembers Tempest, because yeah, Super Metroid is definitely his better game. Yeah, I think Total has hundoed SM. It happens a lot in these because SM opens up so much. Uh, you tend just to clear out all all of the areas in SM uh, when you're there. Uh, SM is really bad to double dip into, so you really don't want to do it. Uh, so the, the randomizer part of SM, like I said, really becomes pr just pretty straightforward execution heavy, more than just uh, pure routing. The pass, the pass, it, coffin will probably be done in about twenty-five minutes. Not oh, sure how long God, how much longer total not sure how much longer total needs unless he forfeits when F. Coffin finishes. Uh, I, I really hope Coffin finishes sooner than twenty five minutes. Hold uh, a twenty five minute terrain would be quite that'd be like two mother brain deaths. Okay. It's, just, it's been a long time since I've actually kept track of how of how long Ganon's tower and Torian takes, so he's, I was just gonna He's got, just a, kinda he's got a, about 12, 12 minutes left here. 
Axel Higgs in chat is also correct. Yeah, as I said earlier, glitchless low percent for Super Metroid is only 15 items, and about nine or ten of those are ammo or energy. Easy zero cycle on Land Molus 2 with the Silver Arrows. Alrighty, could this finally be Total's Catfish play? He Probably there's really nothing else for him to be doing over here. Uh, Swamp Palace is still locked. Uh, I, this might be an absolute last location for him. I can't think of anything else he has not done. Alrighty, and Total will be in his go mode at about 3 hours, 5.10. Maybe a little, little the other way. Yeah, the only thing Total's got going for him is he's got a nice, quick Swamp Palace, and then he's going to be able to go right up into to GT. Uh, it's still going to be probably about a 10-minute difference between these guys, depending on how well Total does uh, his uh, GT climb. Oh, he's furious. Can't say I can't say as I blame him. Alrighty, coming to the trigonometry boss, Aga 2. Starts off with a single. Perfect position for a double or triple. Just a single. Yeah, so you got a blue ball. Okay, so that's one one one. One 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 three, very nice recovery. Frozen bonk animation. Yeah, you really gotta feel bad for Tola Seat. He he had the struggles early. Uh, you know, he basically had two locations that he isolated in two dungeons, and those both had important progression. And now he the last locations is the catfish, uh, and, and still isn't going to come. I mean, despite all of that happening, again, he's only going to lose probably around ten, maybe twelve minutes compared to Coughlin. So, you know, really good race. Uh, Total definitely had a lot of opportunities. Uh, the Ice Rod play, honestly, sequence breaking that, that could have been huge. If, if just Screw Attack and Plasma were in a, a worse location, uh, it'd be Coughlin, last location and an item right now, so. I believe Ganon is six swings per phase on the Gold Sword. Yeah, six, six for Gold Sword. Well, I'm not going to get the torch glitch, but he's he's got half magic and a full bar, plus a double shot. Yeah, you don't need to bother with, with torch glitch for silvers. I really get your the single more important thing is chapter, We got bacon.
Yeah, with this full loadout, it's gonna be probably just around eight minutes, maybe a little over eight minutes for uh, Coughlin to to finish up his terrain. Professor Randerer, the silver can can the silverless hits do damage, or does it have to be a silverless spit? The, yeah, you can do uh, you can swing, but it just does it does less than well for gold sword it wouldn't matter, but. Yeah, you can just do a, a spin, a swing. It's that the fact what you're doing is there's only a frame where he's vulnerable, uh, so the spin persists, the hitbox persists longer, and it makes it way easier uh, to do. And if you're doing like tempered, you know, doing a, a slash doesn't make any sense because you want to do the extra damage too. Okay, so the okay, so the spin, okay, so the the swing can do damage, but the spin is the spin is easier to overlap the vulnerable frame. Do I have yeah. that right? Yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, Coffin did get a hit on him uh, with with the slash. It just it didn't matter. He's doing silvers, so right. I just, so little. Yeah, I I didn't realize I didn't realize that that the slashes could actually do damage. I thought it had to be spins, even if you even if you only even if you had better than uh, no yeah, master. Yeah. No. One of the nice little randomizer changes here just goes straight through this cutscene. This game is so long, uh, it's, it's nice not to have to wait 50 seconds for that, that cutscene to start. So the Torian Metroid rooms are one of the, the hardest sets of set of rooms in the game to do to do fast. Uh, just getting through them isn't isn't too bad. You can see Coughlin just kind of taking it easy, doing one at a time. Uh, but if you see like some of the uh, the best SM runners in this tournament do these rooms, it, it is incredibly impressive and how fast they can go through them. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Speedrun execution is one of the things that I like watching for, so that's why I like Super Metroid as much as I do. As you as you've said, the execution ceiling is so high that it's just it can it can be made to look so impressive. Alrighty, let's see if F. Coffin knows the baby Metroid skip. He has the tools to do it. He looks if he's going on his yeah, he's just gonna be damage boosting down. Yeah, he's not yeah, yeah he, he definitely yeah, he's not gonna try. Yeah, with screw attack you can actually damage boost yourself a lot faster if you just hold angle down, keep jumping into this hopper. You can get a lot more hits in uh, to bring your health down. Uh, the long more health you have, the longer this cutscene is gonna take. But that's a that's one of those minor things that uh, again, Coughlin, like you can like you can tell Coughlin has you know sat down and practiced. There are, are certain <laughs> things he was doing, uh, like the Metroid Two is is kind of like a uh, standard strat that he did. Yeah, and unfortunately, I have Coughlin facing to the left, so Samus's stand-up animation takes about another forty-five frames. Alrighty. Me meantime, while we've been looking at, at F. Coffin, Total has finished up Swamp Palace and is on his way to Ganon's Tower. No. Stash, you're talking about what I was saying? You can do it with screw. All you need to do is cancel your. Uh, the important thing is you need to cancel your iframes. So, screw attack cancels your iframes. So, you just keep jumping. You'll cancel your iframes with screw attack, and then you'll take more, more damage. You've got to be holding an angle down, though, to get you out of screw. Otherwise, you'll just have iframes. Interesting. Yeah, F. Coffin turning off the ice, turning off screw attack to make it easier to get the ice ice zeb skip. Yeah, if you left screw attack on, you have to do either the speed zeb skip or the down back skip. And he decides he's just going to destroy the zebatites the hard way. Yeah, he might. No, he does. Okay, there, you can actually. Uh, there's a spring spring roll skip on this uh, second Zeb uh, that you can do. I actually don't know how to do it. I've never I've never learned it, uh, but it is possible. Uh, I think it's supposed to be pretty easy too. 
All right, so is Total also going to go full right? He is not. He will get his big key off the torch as item three, and that'll save him some time. Definitely not enough, unfortunately. Looks like Jeff Coffin's going to use all gonna use up all of his super missiles first 40 that'll be tw that'll be 12,000 damage to mother brain so that's that'll leave I believe eight or eight or nine charged ice wave plasma shots yeah in any percent situation you want to be really careful about when of counting for when this uh, ketchup shot comes out because it does a lot of damage uh but here in rando usually we have so many e-tanks especially in this combo because you pick up so many e-tanks that you can't even skip because you just get them a link to the past so you're right, generally pretty healthy not going for stand up Solsky, it takes 60 Ice Wave Spacer Shots because those do 300 damage equivalent to a Super Missile. Yeah, total gaining through the gaunt. These rooms are pretty tricky unless you've really sat down and, and practiced them a lot. There's a lot of RNG here. Um, and, and randomizer, just just make sure you kind of get through them uh, pretty safely. Total doing a, a nice job there of getting through them. Yeah, start off with enemies and bears, adds lasers, adds spikes, adds ice, and then it just kind of finishes it all. Then it just kind of fizzles out with the, with the ice and the Medusa head at the end. All right, Afkoflin is into Mother Brain Phase 3. The Hyper Beam does 1,000 damage rapid fire. Mother Brain 3 has 36,000 health, so 40 shots. 36 shots. If you've done the stand-up glitch with Charge Ice Ray Plasma, if you can get 40 shots in before the transition, you don't need to fire any to, to finish off Mother Brain. Total showing us his promise as an author by writing a book called The Wizard of Massacres. Alrighty! F. Coughlin has beaten both final bosses and now has to complete Super Metroid because that's the final boss he beat second. If you beat... If you happen to begin in second, then all you have to do is walk across the bridge. I thought I'd taking a little time to turn screw attack back on. That's a that's a sensible move. Sensible move. Alrighty, doing, doing, doing the shine spark up the old Taurine escape shaft back into the parlor. Yeah, I just had a little scream hiccup here.
Alrighty, folks, get your GGs in chat. F. Coughlin has won the race with a time, that's around time of 33 hours, 18.10. F. Coughlin has agreed to be interviewed. He'll, we'll get him in here as soon as we can. Yeah, it was a real, real nice run for him. Uh, again, uh, Total's uh, last location and stuff in the very beginning and at the end. Pretty much the, the big swinger in this match. Uh, it was an interesting one. Again, the uh, one player having the advantage in SM, the other player having the advantage in A Link to the Past. This really could have swung either way. And honestly, with all this extra stuff Total did, uh, he is really close in this in this match. Uh, so Total played a, a very nice match as well. Uh, meanwhile, Toll on his Ganon fight, again, have Gold Sword. Pretty straightforward fight with Gold Sword. Uh, pretty easy to get the one in one cycle here. Again, and not being nice with the teleport patterns. Getting total getting we did to set up the torch clutch. Gets it. Again in not position such that the total could go for a double there. Might be able to do one here. If he could, he didn't try. There's three. Ooh, Torch went out at an inopportune moment. And get your single season chat for total because we got some more bacon. And we are now joined by Coughlin. GG to you, sir. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, basically the uh, the main thing in the seed was uh, Total ended up missing his, uh, didn't get his lamp, so he couldn't get the Moon Pearl in Eastern, and then he also missed the gloves. He didn't even scout the gloves in DP. And oh. then you guys kind of caught up in the middle, and then Total had uh, last location mirror. Uh, so that, that was really the big uh, change in the seed. Uh, the, the interesting thing you did early on is you put off Brinstar Loop for a long time. Uh, so I was kind of interested about your, your thoughts on why you, you did that one, because Brinstar is obviously a fairly loaded location. Um, it can be, but I didn't have uh, Morph Ball. I didn't have... Uh, what was it I didn't have? And so even without Morph Ball, it's not my favorite one to do just because, you know, going down... The tube is for just, I think, two checks without Morph Ball, and the second one you have to have the Space Jump for, which I think I had at that point. I've lost all track of uh, of what I had where. And then going through green, I always just hate backtracking, as you saw when uh, I decided to visit our friendly neighborhood Spine Shark teacher a couple of times there, because uh, <laughs> I have a horrible time hitting, you know, hitting the timing to avoid that bridge. So I tried to put that one off went until I have a Morph Ball, so that way that doesn't happen. Yeah, well, I meant I meant you even put off doing the uh, you ended up doing the loop backwards uh, later on in the seed, but you still put that off until after like you did wreck ship. And I think you did an upper north air. Yeah, I was just uh, trying to. Was, I mean... Yeah, I was just mainly trying to be able to do things in a row. And for that one, it was just well, I at least saw the chance. Okay, well, if I want to get to you know 
flew Brinstar there and looped through backward, doing wreck ship early. You know, it's kind of its own little thing, but I had enough ammo and I was like, I've got enough stuff. Let me at least get this done. Maybe everything I got was logically going to push towards that. I knew there had to be something in blue Brinstar somewhere in there that was going to give me progression, but I still had the pieces and said, let me at least push what I can you know, try to push this advantage that I, any advantage I might have gained with the early um, sequence breaking there up to Death Mountain. Yeah, that, that ended up being pretty valuable. Um, and you, you did a summer thing later on where you pretty much did all the Zelda dungeons before uh, going to Meridia. Total actually sequence broke the ice rod with shine sparks, which uh, I didn't think you would necessarily be doing. Uh, so for a while, we thought that was going to be the play of the game. Uh, but you ended up walking right into screw attack, uh, coming out of lower lower Norfair. So ended up not not being too big of a deal for for you. You know, I also had a uh, plasma beam, I think. So yeah, but at the uh, time you did it, you had neither. Oh, so yeah. I had neither uh, one. So yeah, it's true. Once I once yeah. I got yeah once I got the screw attack that made life easier, and then plasma ended up uh, making life a bit easier. Yeah, I can't I can't remember this entire scene to be honest. It's all blurring together at this point. Yeah, they definitely yeah. It's so long. They definitely happens. Um, yeah, but, but it, it was, was good. Fun. It was you had an early lead early on with with totals uh, issues getting uh, his dark world access and then like it kind of evened up like towards the middle and it just depended on who was going to go uh, where first uh, and then it opened up at the end again with with the last location on catfish yeah it just ended up in that case i got lucky you know i was just trying to get over to pod and i was like okay let me just while i'm here get these other locations while i'm thinking of it and then hello <sighs> that led to uh, some interesting stuff so um, it was a fun match. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll figure it all out here uh, going on. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a, one of the wins in the next two rounds here. Yeah, so uh, looking. what do you think about your next match? Looking forward uh, to playing? I'm in deep animal doo-doo, but uh, honestly, this is more wins still at this point than I thought I was going to get in the entire tourney. So at this point, I'm playing on house money. Yeah, I mean, our group is pretty rough. Um, I was not happy yeah. drawing. <laughs> I was like, Coughlin and Total. Like, what the hell? Like, no, <laughs> that's not that's not how this works. No, um, so, and me, even you got uh, a lot better than you think on that. Uh, you got a lot better chances there than you think. You know, I'm kind of still semi new to this one. I've got the link to the past stuff, but I've been, you know, only playing combo for a few months. And, you know, the Metroid stuff, as you can see, clearly there's a lot of stuff I can. Uh, still improve on. Yeah, I got I mean, lucky our, today. Our, our four C two Biocogen like is is uh, solid as well. Um, yeah. So like it's it's you know they're they're gonna be they're gonna be tough matches uh, coming out. Oh, great. So, but it, yeah, you had a really nice run. Uh, this one was fun because again, it was you had the more a link to the past experience. A total uh, obviously a little stronger in, in SM. Uh, so it was interesting to see like you know you two kind of going back and forth uh and just like different strengths and weaknesses which is one of the fun things about this combo like the amount of people who are good at both of, of these games is like two <laughs> you know so yeah, it's great to see i'm definitely looking forward to watching it back thank you guys for uh, doing the commentary as i said it, you guys sound, it sound like an awesome crew from the little bit i've heard of you and i'm looking forward to uh hearing it back on the uh rest of the run there yeah, well, uh, good luck, and I guess I will be uh, talking to you shortly about the next match. Exactly, uh, but, looking uh, forward yeah. to it. Actually, if I could get a few questions in real quick. Sure. Cotham, was there anything about your riding decisions throughout the team that you felt particularly good or particularly bad about? I mean, the early sequence break there that got me up to Death Mountain definitely felt good, especially when I found Morph Ball eventually up in uh, Hookshot Cave there before going over to... Uh, I, don't know, I think that may have been you know really early. I don't remember the exact timing on that. I just remember I found it there. So that one I kind of felt good about. I was like, okay, that's an advantage. I have to try to press this. Then it dried up in the middle there. It dried up for a long time. I was finding like small bits of progression, but not really anything to push everything. And then as I said, I mean, the lucky play going up to the mirror. I felt like in general, I was doing pretty good of trying to knock out dungeons when I could. It just took forever to find the hammer. When I found the hammer, I found that you know, got to the midst and stuff, I was like, oh gosh, Total could have easily done some of this. So, you know, at that point I was like, okay, now I'm at best even. I just got to pan, almost not quite panic, but I was just like, just play and do the best I could. I think the only sad decision was if I had known where Total was, I probably would have gone down and saved the animals for fun if I knew I had more than uh, 12 seconds to, uh, or 30 seconds to uh, finish the seat out. Gotcha. Other question is letter grade. How much fun did you have with the seed? Um, 
I mean, I, I hate ice rod hunts, so that was, you know, basically for me, it came down to that. It sounds like it was different there with uh, Total getting the uh, the ice rod early, but uh, I'm never a fan of the ice rod hunts. So, I mean, play-wise, it was probably a good B, and there's still some stuff I have to work on, you know, in terms of the logic breaking and trying to explode my head, definitely an A for that. Gotcha. That's all I have. Apathetic, do you have anything else? Uh, no, I would just, uh, Coughlin indicated he, uh, was running a little tight schedule, so I was just trying not to keep him too long. You're, you're welcome to yeah. stick around, but, uh, it's up to yeah, the Yeah, I have to run for some, uh, family stuff. But again, thank you guys for calling this. Thanks for Speed Gaming for putting the race on. Everyone out there, make sure to follow commentary trackers today, because they've been doing absolutely great. And, uh, we look forward to seeing you all pretty soon here when I get crushed royally by the, uh, the duck here. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to wait for me to do my normal stupid thing. I'm gonna do great Dragon without high jump and gravity. That'll be fine. Oh boy, if you have the ability to do that, I'm in deep trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I did it I did it in a race, but I missed the shine out three times in a row, so it took me like 40 oh. minutes. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I, I, I think we already know the uh, result of the match, but at least we'll try to make it entertaining for everyone yeah. when they watch it. <laughs> yeah, right. so, uh, luck, yeah. Guys. See you soon. Alrighty, in the meantime, Total has glitched out Samus' sprite somehow, and has completely obliterated Mother Brain. Total did a stand-up glitch, which let him do some damage to Phase 3 while the Red Ray was refilling him, and Total will now have that three minutes to escape. I have full confidence in Total's ability to get out of this thing in three minutes. Alright, Total is heading up and out. We'll he'll most likely he'll do that spark. The same one we saw F. Coughlin do. Going up! Alrighty, folks, get your GGs in chat again because Total has finished in second place at 3 hours 31.10. Yeah, nice nice run by Total. Uh, again, just problems early, problems late. Uh, but he certainly kept it exciting the entire time. Uh, so Coughlin did end up getting the upset in this one. Uh, again, Coughlin will be moving on to play me uh, from the next one, and Total will be moving on to play Bionicle Genius. Uh, and the uh, the winner of that one will face the loser of mine and uh, Coughlin's match uh, to determine who who goes on to the uh, the bracket stage. A uh, little issue with Total's invite. Let me. Uh... We fix that real quick. Here we go. He'll be coming up here in a second. All right. Uh, GG total. <laughs> GG. Um, oh, wow. Oh, something. So which one was more annoying? The the early missing two items in the two dungeons you have cleared or the mirror on catfish? 
uh, both. I don't know. The catfish, I wasn't too upset about. I I left it because I wanted to do it along with Mirror when I got it, in case I needed yep. something else for later. I could have done it so much earlier, but it's, you know... Yeah, it's, it's I was... ironic that it would be on Catfish, of course. <laughs> yeah, I, you, you did the uh, pyramid checks, and I was... At that point, Pod made sense, and Catfish made sense, and I was just like, please go to Catfish, because you're never coming yeah. back if if you don't. Yeah, I was so close uh, to the Earl... there. Yeah, I, I was... I was willing it to happen <laughs> um, so. it, it is what it is i got lucky with the ice rod at least yeah we were really talking that was we thought that might have been the play of the game uh you doing the, the shine sparks in there uh, uh you know you're the this was an interesting match because it was you know you're the stronger sm player coffin was the stronger link to the past player so it's interesting to see like how you guys both approached it uh that that play really could have been the play of the game and we thought it might have been uh, and then, of course, Screw Attack and Plasma just fell into Coughlin's lap. Uh, yeah. Screw Attack just being on the way out of, of Lower Norfair. So that looked like a big... Because you, you, know, you got down early, and then you kind of clawed your way back in. And then kind of like by mid-seed, it was just like, who goes to the, the right location first? And that, I mean, the Ice, the ice Rider play was, was very nice. It just you know ended up not really mattering. Yeah, I felt like I had a good chance when, when it turned out to be a more or less full clear Super Metroid in one big go. Because I felt like I could maybe gain back some of the lost time from the from the early running around everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you, you, and I, the the Eastern Palace for the Moon Pearl thing. I just left it for so long because for some reason I thought I had all the items from there. So it just took me ages to finally go back there. It wasn't too bad, but it's still. And then I did a gamble in uh, Super Metroid to not go down. Brainstar because there was only two items, so I figured I'll do the upper one, um, and see like the green brainstar and see if I get anything good. And then I got the book, and I figured, okay, let's just run with this because it's so unlikely that there would also be progression in blue brainstar. In and um, well, of course there was the lamp there. <laughs> yeah, the lamp that was a mean because you were like it was like morph's got to be here somewhere, right? And it was just like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so I figured oh, there's the lamp, so that's yeah, not good. I I was kind of sure that morph would be very soon, so I wanted to leave that so I didn't have to like double dip it. Well, then obviously <laughs> it turned out to be a big mistake, and I had to go back down anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Coffin was actually yeah, able... gotta take chances to uh, as well. Yeah. Um... Yeah, a few was, questions was... for me, if I could. Yeah, yeah sure. Go ahead. I asked everybody the same couple of questions. So, in terms of the routing decisions you made throughout the sea, was there anything you felt particularly good or particularly bad about, other than the obvious ones? I'm not so sure. I don't know. I, well, I mean, the the ice rod thing is probably the... But it, it, that's just... Uh, I did it because I could, more or less, and, and it made sense routing-wise. Uh, and I'm happy I did... Meridia before uh, Norfair as well, and that was also more or less it was possible, so there was no reason not to do it. In terms of Link to the Past, I was just all over the place. I definitely need more practice and I just completely forgot about some places that I had to go back and, and check later. So, uh, so <laughs> that could have been a lot better, but it, I unfortunately didn't, didn't uh, have enough time to practice, but it is what it is, and, and next match I'll, I'll make sure to be even more prepared. <laughs> gotcha. I still have a chance in the group, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, my other question is, uh, uh, letter, what would you give the seed on a letter grade for how much fun you had? Hmm. That is that is a that's a good question. What's below F? <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> but... Um, no, it, it was felt pretty good. I think it might—it was a bit too one-sided in the middle, I'd say, for the Super Metroid stuff. But I like when there's a bit more like inter-game uh, action, and uh, this was just get more ball and then full clear Super Metroid, pretty much. It was pretty yeah. fun though, and wasn't too bad. There was nothing that was too way out of the way or or any really annoying like complex logic chain. Uh, so you're going to be pulling uh, Bionicle Genius uh, to for the the losers bracket. Um, how you how you feeling about that one? And then if the the bracket goes chalk, you you might actually have a rematch against Coughlin. Oh, um, so. <laughs> yeah, that'll yeah. be that'll be interesting. 
Yeah, so but, I, mean, yeah, I don't know how it's it's going to be a rough match, that's for sure. I mean, every everyone that's in the tournament is is pretty good, and and have definitely a chance to beat me because I, I uh, I'm not the the greatest player in there. So I I fear for every match. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I do. I mean, these are these can really swing really hard. Um, like this is we, we pulled a pretty tough division. I mean, you you and Coughlin uh, obviously shown today are a really close match, uh, and yeah. our four seed Bionicle is you know uh, you know I watched our match back too, and uh, he was a, he was a solid player. So he definitely uh, do not under, I would say do not underestimate him. Uh, he oh, definitely no, cause, I'm cause an upset. I'm, I'm... So yeah, that'll be interesting. So I'm I'm happy that this match was as close as it, as it was as well. Uh, I hope it was probably fun to watch, or at least <laughs> hopefully. It's always nice when when there aren't like too much. Yeah, I had a great time. time. This was 13 minutes, which isn't too bad. Yeah, it, the the ending time doesn't show how close it was like you went down early and then you came back uh, mid game it was basically on top of each other so you know even if it was 13 minutes at the end uh most of the the seed it was up for grabs uh, so that's what makes these entertaining uh it's not like coffin just walked away with this one um it, it was close yeah, it to be, most of it'll it it'll be fun watching this back uh, as well to see how close it actually was yep. i would say you had the advantage for not the not a lot but a a reasonable, reasonable portion of the race. Oh, that's that's nice. Yeah, yeah. That, that should have just pushed it harder then and got got more lucky. I guess. Yeah, the um, ice rod play was def definitely a highlight. Just yeah, Coughlin yeah, just got lucky. Think... Like, like like Duck said, Coughlin got lucky finding screw attack and then finding plasma beam too. Yeah, I'm always worried about isolating like remote locations like that if there's it's annoying to do with only speed booster but it's possible and i it's it, it might be even worse not doing it i was very worried though because i left the uh acid snake missiles uh, below crocomire because that's the only check you can't do without morph and i was there morphless right so i was really worried now <laughs> that the mirror would be there because i just decided that it's never not worth going back for it because that's just too much time waste for a single location. So uh, I, I I bet on that not being a thing, and I guess it wasn't. I don't. Do you know what was there? Yeah, yeah. Coffin eventually checked it. It was nothing. Okay, yeah, okay, and that's good. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's uh, pretty much it for us. Uh, Total. If you have any uh, last words to to say. Not really. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, and and thanks uh, the organizers for putting up the the tournament. It's it's really fun to see everyone play this randomizer, and and I hope everyone enjoys it. We've been working hard with it, so and and uh, thank you for uh, doing the commentary and tracking everyone. So, yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna say thank you for for making all this possible. I feel like you get <laughs> I think you, you get the complaints more than <laughs> the thank yous. Uh, so I just I just want to make sure to say thank you. And uh, I, I do want to say, uh, progressive bow. You should do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll, I'll think Thanks. about it. But, uh, but cool. yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm just giving you a hard time. Um, yeah, but thanks a lot. Uh, it's definitely great. A lot of fun to play. Uh, this I... tournament wouldn't happen without you, man. So yeah, thanks you. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next match. And, and maybe I can hopefully win that one. We'll see. I had a great time watching this one, too. Yeah, so I think that's it for us. Uh, we do have uh, more tournament stuff happening today, uh, on all, all the speed gamings. Uh, so uh, check those stuff out. But uh, I just wish everyone else to have a good rest of your day. Yeah, I, I already. I've been Big Bot, he's been Duck McGuck, and we will see you next mission. <laughs>